Water Valley Blue Devil football that is being brought to you by State Farm Insurance, Yalabusha Hospital and Nursing Home, Turnage Drug Store, Valley Tool Incorporated, Farm Bureau Insurance, Tri Lake Eye Clinic, Luke's Body Shop, Black and Associates, Midtown Auto Parts, Coffeyville Main Street Insurance, Crow Martin PLLC, CW White Incorporated, Horan and Horan PLLC, Fisher Properties, Shelter Insurance, Vans Furniture and Laundry, and Mechanics Bank. And now with all the play-by-play -play action, here's Steve Lindsay and Chad Franks. Good evening, Water Valley fans. It is week 13, is that right? 12 is what 12? John said a moment ago. So we're, we're week nine. 12? It's 12, that's right. Nine and two, that's 11, this is, tw yeah. So this is week 12. <laughs> all right. Well, we, hopefully we got more weeks than this coming up. Tonight, uh, the Water Valley Blue Devils are gonna take on Yazoo County. And if y'all remember from last year, Yazoo County was a team that put Water Valley out of the playoffs. But this week, this week, Chad, we're at Bobby Clark Field. Mm. We got home field advantage, and they're a little bit different team, but there's a little bit scareness. Yes. You start yep. looking through their yep. roster, and they got three. They got a kid, three forty-seven, six four, mm. six foot four, three hundred and forty-seven pounds. And and we were talking earlier. Just don't run up the middle. <laughs> Tay Rucker, do not run, run up the middle and tonight. Run around. <laughs> Water Valley finished the season nine and two, four and one in division. Uh, Yazoo County finished the season five and five overall, four and zero in the in their division. Uh, last week, Water Valley lost to North Panola 52 to 19. Yazoo County lost to Charleston 20 to six. So, hey, this is another one of those barometer, you know, yeah. if, whatever we do to not hope, it, but it doesn't matter if we don't win. That's right. If yeah. we win, hopefully it's more than 20 to six. Uh, I, been getting a little bit of information from some folks, and they say that they're not going to throw very much. They didn't have it. They, I think they averaged maybe 57 yards passing. Uh, 57.1 per game. And, uh, you know, that kind of plays into our hand a little bit because we love defending the run yep. uh, if, if, if you don't have a very good passing game. Right. Last week we had a hard time, but – that's because we were having to do, we we're having to try to shut down two things at once. Uh, Water Valley has averaged 36.9 points on offense per game and given up 11 points on defense per game. Yazoo County comes into this ball game averaging 16.1 uh, on offense per game and giving up 20.1 on defense. So that's a little bit lopsided. They're giving up more than they're they're putting up on average. So hopefully that's a good telltale sign that'll help us out. Uh, I'm getting a report that Paris may not play, didn't didn't practice all week. You know, I've been worried about Paris. You know, two weeks ago against Independence, he looked like he had some kind of shoulder issue. And last week, you know, and I and I was, you know, kind of boisterously said, you know, I'll put our defense up against anybody. Well, I still stand behind that. It just we, we weren't clicking the second half last week. And I think it was in part because we had some key injuries. You know, um, Nate went out at yep. one point last week as well. Bud went out. Yep. Uh, we had a lot of cramps last mm. week, and I hope that has nothing to do with our protein. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I've seen the kids all week drinking water, pounding it. Uh, hopefully they've flushed out whatever impurities uh, they might have had. We're watching the coin toss right now. We can go ahead and tell you that Water Valley has won the toss, won the toss and deferred to the second half. So Good deal. Yazoo County will be getting the ball first. Uh you know, I was looking at their 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 stud, which I think this guy, someone told me Corey Gainwell, his younger brother of a guy that was really um, very proficient last year as well, and he is averaging on 10 games 108.1 yards rushing per game, putting him at 1,081, and Tay only has 867. Now, well, we the know caveat the story of that, that is – Tay has only played what maybe seven full games, maybe no, not even not that, even that many if you tag all he's the been in, halves that he hasn't right. played. Right. I mean he's uh, really only been in on a couple of series and yeah. in that four or five game stretch. Right. And then we got up so much that he just didn't need, he, right. need to we, play anyway. That's right. So 
We're going to do a summary. Uh, we're going to do a comparison of the two teams. And when we get back, Bob's going to give us a rundown. We'll take a break. When we get back, he'll do that for us. We'll take a break now. You're watching Blue Devil Football. There's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area, a way of life you don't find just anywhere. And at Mechanics Bank, we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing. It's that hometown feel, that commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises, but genuine, helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community. Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool Makers of Fixtures, Gauges, Jigs, Specialized Tooling, Precision Grinding, Production Machining, and Injected Mold Repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. When did insurance companies start emailing handshakes? Why is a billboard the only place you see your agent's face? Who decided you can't have good rates and good coverage? If you're questioning your insurance options, get real answers from a real person with a Farm Bureau Insurance Get Real Review. It's simple, quick, and tailored just for you. Get real auto, home, and life insurance. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. See agents Chuck Up Church, Don Gray, and Bradley Brown. See WI Incorporated Petroleum Products in Water Valley supports Blue Devil football as well as academics. In business since 1946, has been selling quality petroleum products at reasonable prices for those 60 plus years. CW White offers local express fuel with ethanol and non-ethanol free gasolines. Open 24-7 on Wise Street. Also additional locations of local express and Phillips 66 gasolines in Charleston, Batesville, Sardis and Cenotopia. Wishing the best for the Blue Devils this season. All right, we're back. We're not too far from kickoff. Bob, uh, give us a little bit of history between the two teams, if you don't mind. All right, guys, this is extremely short here. History between Water Valley and Yazoo County. This is only the second meeting between the two, the, uh, two schools. Overall series, Yazoo County does lead 1-0. and oh. The first and last meeting, well, was last year. Yazoo County won 35-7 in the second round of the playoffs. That was on November 10th. And Coach Brad Embry, of course, is 0-1 against the uh, Panthers. Common opponents, J.C. George. Both teams have defeated J.C. Uh, the, this year in a, in, a, in a big way fashion. And on this date in Blue Devil history, Water Valley's record is 6-4-0 on November 2nd. So I think we've nice. been 6-4-0 several <laughs> times this year. That, that's that's actually correct. It's <laughs> it's not I haven't changed the number. Right, right. You're, you're, you're checking it. It's just been that coincidence. Yes, yes. And, and thankful it's been, it's been on, on, on the winning side. So. Right, absolutely. All right, we'll take a break and be right back for kickoff right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Turnage Drug Store, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drug Store on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. Complete body repair. They do headliner replacement, vinyl top replacement, air conditioner repair, lockout service, and most any other body repair your vehicle would need. Luke's Body Shop has 24-hour towing, free estimates for any job. Ask about their coast-to-coast -coast carports, buildings, and garages. When you're in need of body repair, take your vehicle to Luke's Body Shop, South Main Street in Water Valley. Open weekdays, 8 till 5. Coffeeville Insurance and Main Street Insurance offer a variety of insurance to meet you and your family's needs. Through such companies as Allstate, MetLife, AIG, Zurich, Drive-By Progressive, plus many more companies. Tyler Wortham, Beverly Freer, Jan Wortham, and Marlene Guzman invite you to stop by for your home, auto, health, life, commercial, and motorcycle insurance needs. Coffeeville Insurance Agency on Depot Street, across from the bank, and Main Street Insurance in Water Valley, next to Valley Lumber. All right, Blue Devil fans, playoff time is about to begin in 
the Valley. Dre McCray has it set up. And he's about to kick this thing off, and get this ball game started. Puts a foot into it, it's high, going around to about the 10, 11 yard line. Fielded by number one for Yazoo County and Dre McCray almost made the tackle yeah. on the 20. Oh, let him go. going to run him out of bounds. Uh-oh, we got a penalty uh, on Truss. I was going to say pan pancake block, but I think that's actually called holding Ooh. for the referee. I didn't see it. I was watching him run him out of bounds about yeah. the 30-yard 30, 30 line. I think it was a little more tackle than Kaiwan <laughs> Hervey pancake. <laughs> Hopefully it's on them. Actually, it's on them, though. Okay. Wow, wow. We can, we'll take it. We'll take yeah. it. We'll take it. So I was a little concerned how we were going to get called for holding. Rip the face mask off one of our guys. Really? The, uh, the the shield, the face shield. Okay. Got a little, uh, yeah. like a wind, it's like a screen on a, or a windshield on a car. I had, I had one of those, and at some point you almost want to rip them off on your own because they'll fog up real bad, too. <laughs> so the quarterback is, is that number 12? Number 12 looks like. Yep. Number 12 hands off, and he is There you go. Oh, immediately. Marley Cook said, all right, we're going to go ahead early and start the tone. And uh, he started with about a one-and-a-half yard loss on the play. <laughs> mm. Ben Luckett is the quarterback for Yazoo County. They have a kid. Man, there he is, number 72. Look, he's he's the bigger one. He's 6'5", 350, but – on the other side is 6'4", 347. Wow. They're going to hand off kind of a read option. He, yeah. uh, quarterback kept that it. Lockett kept it. He yeah. didn't. Uh, he might have got a yard. He got it back to the original, yeah. so that will be third and ten. ten. Yeah. Number one, Gainwell to carry. Tackle by number 13. Early, the defense is shutting it down. Yeah. And, uh, you know, with that kind of a line, that, I'm, I'm assuming that they've had so much success just running right. the ball at yeah. will all, you know. But then you look at their record, five and five. It's a catch twenty-two. Right. Depends you know, sometimes you those big guys are, and I'm not, I'm not judging them. Sometimes they're just not quite as fast as somebody that's a little bit smaller. Throwing it out. Oh, Cedric uh, almost had a there pick there. He just broke on it. That pass was intended for number eleven, yeah. Malik Banks. Great, great first stand here for our defense. So. Bud Tolbert will be back, and hey, I, I've been, I've been, I got up, kid got on to me this, uh, this week. Darius Tolbert said he did not like to be called Little Tolbert. Little so Tolbert. We're gonna okay. call him either Mister or or Darius. <laughs> Cook comes running in. Marley's little brother. What snap is back? Good snap. He's late getting it off. He's like he couldn't get it in his hand. The ball's going to roll up to about the 41 yeah, yard line. Go out of bounds. Out at the 41. So Water Valley's going to have the ball on the Yazoo County Panthers side of the field. First and 10 headed towards pay dirt. Good field position. And, you know, that is certainly, you know, the punt was nothing to, to write home about, but that also is a. Is, uh, uh, tip of a hat to the defense that that's so, the defense you know when I said that last week I'd put them against anybody oops. that's the defense I was thinking about and just the way in which that they played five on five right down here at the bottom of the screen mm. that's going to be uh their their number five is five ten it's probably not a good matchup for them yeah Tay Rucker's going to try to run it up the middle he got yeah. one he got one, but I'm going to tell you, it's probably going to be just as hard to run on these guys as it is against us, against us early. Yeah. I think we'll wear them down because their big boys aren't on the line, on the defensive line. And I'm noticing already they're going two ways. Number 12, the quarterback is on defense. He made that tackle, actually. Number one, yep. their stud running back is out at DB, kind of a uh, safety. So Blaine Clark is a quarterback. He gets the snap hands off to Tay around the left side. Ooh, he got hit at the 40-yard line. I think, I think he got right back to the same the line of scrimmage there. They're going to move it about a football length. So it's going to bring up third and about. Call it nine. You got to call it third and nine. Yeah. Maybe one of those little grind it out. So it's been a pretty we're certainly good. We're behind the curve. You know, yeah. we like that, you know, eight yards on first down. <laughs> 
one yard on two downs is not, not certainly keeping ahead of the sticks. This time, Rockets in the slot on the far side. Bud's lined up tight. Welch is out far. He puts Rocket in motion. He's going to throw it. Lane's looking. He get, hits it out to Bailey on the far right side. Now there's a flag coming in. It would have been a first down, but I think, I think they're going to get Welch on this. for yeah. a hold who wasn't even close to the play, yeah. Chad. Man. The on the play. Those are the kind of things that really burn my nose hairs. Mm. <laughs> Jake is over Here's there. the question. Yeah, though. I didn't get is it. that a spot foul too? Because it's not holding in the trenches. It's a hold on the defense. Wow, that is twice we've get, we've gotten uh, the opposite call what we thought it was. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll take that for sure. Yes, that's going to be a first. And now I hope you're right. I hope it's uh, well, it's going to be added on to the end of the play. So that's going to be a first down for the Blue Devils. Regardless, but let's see how far that takes us down. How much the field. extra we got? So they had it spotted right at the first down marker, right around the 31. So that's going to bring it down to the 21 yard line. So it'll be first and 10. Blue Devil ball at the 21. Nice. So Tay Rucker's in the backfield with Blaine. This time we only have uh, Rocket out right and Bud down here on the oh, near side. Got, Jacob's yeah. tight. Mm -hmm. we give it off to uh, Rucker around the right side, and he's hit. Oh, he gosh. probably lost a yard. The only guy out there tackled him, too. We were heavy, heavy on the right side that time. Well, you know, I think early in the ball game, sometimes it's hard to find a rhythm. Uh, yeah. You're, you're maybe you're blocking the guy a little too hard, or you're blocking him not hard enough, and you're anticipating him doing something that right. maybe he's not doing. Right. So that you know, he might have blocked his man right into the tackle. Well, it's kind of like in baseball when you face the pitcher the first time. That's right. You put Rocket in motion this time. Uh oh, yeah, Yazoo County. We're gonna take the five offside. So while we got a second, I'm going to tell you all, they're called the Panthers. People say that's a myth. I'm going to tell you what. I saw one in Shelby, Mississippi about when I was 12 years old. I'm going to just tell you, that's a fact. That thing was a, about two, two and a half feet tall, had a long tail, and it was black as night and running across a, a bean field, cut bean field in the and middle of the day. it was nobody's house cat. Yeah, it wasn't, that wasn't a house cat. <laughs> Trips left to put Rocket in motion. The uh, handoff is to Rucker up the middle. Man, he's nothing, hit immediately nothing, again. Nothing. That's going to bring up third and about seven, six, seven. Yeah. Call it seven. Man, we're just not getting anything going on the running game early, but it's still early. It is, you know, even for them. Already a couple of hands on the hips. See that? Yeah, I don't like that at all. We're barely five minutes into the game. Chunk it out to uh, Rocket on the near side. He's got a little room. That's going to be a first down. He's inside the 10, down Marking to about the seven-yard line. Eight. Eight-yard line, Marking yes. standing on the eight. That's going to be a first down and goal for the Blue Devils. Let's go, Blue! We were just talking about it. You know, you kind of maybe expect the Panthers to not have much of a crowd coming an hour and 40 minutes right. or more. Well, they've just but, got another bus that's pulled up. I don't know if that's a pep bus that parents were following and maybe band. I did see some cheerleaders get off, too. I think that'd be the band. Trips left for the Blue Devils. Jacob Truss is in the ball game. He's got uh, uh, Rucker with him. He's going to take it himself right up the middle. Nice. He's inside uh, five, down, down to, to about the, the one two. Or two. Maybe the one. Inside the two, anyway. Going to put Nate Murphy in. Beef up the line a little bit. Does Nate beef up the line, though? I, he's got to. He's he's, <laughs> he's heavier than Jacob uh, Welch that came yeah, out. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not by so, much, but. Statistically speaking, it did go up a little. Right. <laughs> Percentage-wise, not so much. <laughs> so, Jacob Truss has got Rucker with him. He puts Rocket in motion. He's going to give off to uh, Rucker. Tay he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Waterbelly. That's going to be uh, – We'll give him a two-yard touchdown plunge on that. So with 6.45 to go in the first quarter, Water Valley's in the end zone. John 
Surrett's coming out to try the extra point. Welch to hold, and Grant Burris will snap. Grant Burris is back on snapping duty. You know, it was Nate Murphy for yeah. a while. So John's back and ready to go. The snap is perfect. The kick is up. Oh, oh and it hit the crossbar. You know what? I, I didn't see coming. much wrong with it. There, there was a little pressure, but I don't yeah. think that was the reason. So 6.45 to go. The Blue Devils are up 6-0. to zero. We'll take a break and be back for the kickoff right after this. You're watching Blue Devil football. There's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area, a way of life you don't find just anywhere. And at Mechanics Bank, we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing. It's that hometown feel, that commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises, but genuine, helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community. Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan and Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. Attorneys Kevin Horan, Jimmy Powell, and Brad Dagnott are ready and prepared to fight for your rights. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact them at 226-2185 or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. Coffeeville Insurance and Main Street Insurance offer a variety of insurance to meet you and your family's needs. Through such companies as Allstate, MetLife, AIG, Zurich, Drive-By Progressive, plus many more companies. Tyler Wortham, Beverly Freer, Jan Wortham, and Marlene Guzman invite you to stop by for your home, auto, health, life, commercial, and motorcycle insurance needs. Coffeeville Insurance Agency on Depot Street, across from the bank, and Main Street Insurance in Water Valley, next to Valley Lumber. All right, we're back. Draper Cray is about to boot it. He did. It's going to be a shorter kick this time, too, about the 15. As you count, he's got the oh. oh, he had it, and he just got smoked. Who was that? I'm believing that's going to be Jacob. Yeah, that was Jacob Trust. Just gra grabbed uh -oh. him around the shoulder pads yeah. and swung he's him down. He's twisted something. Maybe just uh, a twisted ankle or. He'd be all right. <laughs> He'll, he'll walk it. Hey, walk it off. Put some duct tape on it. That's right. Rub some dirt Rub on Rub some it. dirt. Brother Randy had a, a nice sermon on that about, what, about three or four weeks ago? He Talking said, about his hey, daddy just yeah. say, hmm. Rub some dirt on it. Yeah. <laughs> I just love that thinking about his dad. And, you know, I know he thought so much of his dad and loved him. But, you know, there was something about that generation that they just put up with stuff and just, hmm. So this time Luckett is not the quarterback's number one. And he's mm. kind of a wildcat yeah. offense. That's Corey Gainwell. He took it for about a seven-yard gain, maybe eight. Call it eight yards, yeah. Benson on the stop. You know, our tackling from the start looks a little better than where we picked up our left off last week. Yeah, it had to get better. <laughs> Not any more. There's only one way to go. They're going trips right, single left, single back. They're just running that Wildcat offense, and they're just running Gainwell. He's gone. He's up the sideline. I don't think I don't anybody's going to get him. going to get him. Yeah, he's gone. That's a 62-yard uh, touchdown for Gainwell. 5.50 on the clock, so that, that drive did not take much time at, at all. all. Um, uh, let's see. 45, 50 uh, 55, 55 seconds. seconds, yeah. Yeah, John just says the Wild Panther, not the Wildcat. <laughs> Technically, you could call it a Wildcat because Panther right. is a cat, right? That's right. This time they, they lined up, but we got whistles. They're going to go for two on the extra point. Side line one against the Blue Devils. What? How in the world did they interrupt a two-point conversion to call sideline warning? That, uh, to me, is a little strange. The Devils need to stop here to keep the, sky, the score tied. Gainwell gets it. He's going to roll out to his right, throw it, but it's picked off. 
by uh, that's uh, Isaiah White. Yep. No good. Your score is six to six. Five fifty in the first. We'll take a break and be back for kickoff right after this. You're watching Blue Devil football. Something good is waiting for you at Vans Furniture and Laundry in Water Valley. Living room sets, bedding, sofas, and a great selection of furnishings for your home. Ashley, Simmons, Franklin, American. Too many remarkable brand names to mention. 12 months same as cash and up to 24 months financing. Vans Laundry cleans all types of school and work uniforms. 10% discount to all military, first responders, and ministers. Vans Furniture and Laundry located in the same building in Cash Saver Shopping Center, Water Valley. At Yalabusha General Hospital, we're not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We're not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. Turnage Drug Store, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drug Store on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. Panthers are about to kick this thing off. Has Swing. he got it set? He's, no, got, it, he's okay. got it angled like he's going to kick it over there to Grant Burris. He's aiming at the 30 on the far side of the field. He just squibs it down there to Grant. He's just falling on it at the Good 30. Job. Good job, Grant. Smart. You know, you know, Jacob week, did that in several situations last week, too. Just, you know, of course, it was one time we were laughing. He recovered it on the 38. It would have gone out. We would have gotten him. So he got it, you know, even netted us three yards. And he dove, one arm catch, <laughs> like a shortstop on yeah. a line drive. He just stuck a hand out there and dove and caught it. And the Blue Devils will start their second drive at the 30 yard line, their own 30 yard line. This is. Trips uh, left for us, looks like. Yeah, we have lined up in a little bit different formation. It's uh, time for something different. I mean, we're late in the season, and they have, you know, access to everything we've done. That's right. Put Rocket in motion. Go. He's going to give it to Rocket. Rocket oh ran right into uh, tackle. They're just yeah. blowing up that end over there. It's going to be a loss of about four, three or four. Well, he ran. Oh, somebody got pushed backwards in their block, and he, you know, just like the where he was heading closed up way quicker than he, you know, was anticipating. I think. I'm telling you, I think, I think it's all tempo right now. I think yeah. Rocket's just going so fast he could not make a cut. Yeah. And uh, you run right into things whenever you you're out of control, trying to make it make the corner. Yeah. It's like racing down a road. You've been on that road before, but you just can't make the turn because something looks different. Oh, oh Marley goodness. Cook stood up in his stance. Wow. That's going to be another five-yard penalty. That is a rare miscue for Mr. Cook. Uh-huh. Jacob Truss is in the ball game at quarterback. Tay Rucker is out in the slot. Yeah, I saw that just a moment ago. I was like, now, was he in the slot a minute? I don't think he was. I don't think so. You know. Bailey is in tight, kind of like in a uh, tight end slash. Like a tight slot. Like we used to call it a flanker. I yeah. don't know what y'all used to call That's it. That's what we called it. Up in the heels, that was a flanker. Yeah. <laughs> flanker set up yeah. anywhere between where he's at off the uh, left tackle. Yeah. And uh, they put him in motion. Uh, and uh, that's live. going to be a run by Truss right up the middle, and he didn't get very far. That's going to bring up third and about 15. Man. And, and uh, yeah, third and 15. We are behind the chains pretty pretty heavily at this point. Truss is running a little bit better on that ankle after he was limping Yeah. a little bit after the tackle on the kickoff earlier. Good hustle off field. So Blaine Clark comes back in. Tay's back in the backfield with him. Uh, slot right. He's going to throw it. He's looking for a screen pass to Tay Rucker. He's got a little room. He's going to get hit at the 35-yard line, so it'll be fourth and five. Yeah, fourth and five. Yeah. It was just kind of a little bit high for Rucker. Yeah. And uh, by the time he got it and got his bearing, it was a little – it was 
seemed like he should have maybe bounced yeah. it out this way. Right. But he had a guy, a defender, laying on the ground mm -hmm. right between to, him and this way. Yeah. So he had to cut it straight up. And there's split-second decisions, you know, I mean, one extra, you know, half a second one way or the other, and it could have been a completely different play. Could have been a blown-up play, too. Truss takes the snap. He's going to boot it. It's a line, low line drive to the left. It takes a little bit of a bounce. Then kind of rolls down inside the 35, just barely inside the 35. Now, look at here. They're going to mark it at the 30. Oh, okay. So call it the 34 and a half. It looked like they were about to mark it on the 35, and that was going to make me mad. They're going to swap them out. Let's see where they put the ball. Well, they're right side by side. We'll take that. Oh. So Yazoo County, their third possession is coming up. 3.28 to play in the first. Hope this one looks a whole lot more like the first one. Well, number 12, Luck Luckett is back. He throws a duck. That's a lateral. you got to get on it. Yeah. And that's going to be a loss back to the 18-yard line, Chad. Uh, so at about 16 yard. Wow. But he just – Luckett turned around and just threw that ball, but it looked like it came out of his hand early. Yeah. And it's just like a – Oh, injured duck just fluttered. And he had the, the quads left on that play, too. And hopefully they didn't hear me say that was a, a lateral. So I think it even caught Nate off guard a little, too. So second and 24 for the Panthers. Lucky to still in a quarterback high snap. He gets it. He's going to chunk it. He just chunked it. That's not going to be caught by anybody. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody on the sideline. Uh, Rocket caught it. He was standing by Coach Embry. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Not good. So third and – uh, farther than I can throw. Yeah. <laughs> Third farther than I can throw. That's a, that's a good way to put it. Well, and Marley was in the quarterback's face, too. So he threw it a split second earlier than he really wanted to. I'd have thrown but, it early, too. Right, but the alternative was, you know, Look at this. Marley Trips was going right. pancaking. Trips right, slot left. They throw it in the dirt yeah. to uh, number 11. Banks and uh, no good. They're going to end up having to punt. That was a fast three and out for the Panthers. Much better, much better. Made me think of you know, and there was they do it a lot at Ole Miss game, baseball games and stuff. I can't speak for any other place, but you know the throw it in the dirt cheer. That's kind of what what the end result was. Uh, Steve threw it in the dirt. Five receivers. I just ugh. I don't even know what you call that. Everybody go long yeah. on two. Yeah, you go long. Here comes the punt. Low, a high kick this, this time. Lost, it's going to hit around the, the 46. Lights. Rolls into Blue Devil territory to the 46. Just barely, yeah, we'll take that. That's not we'll, too bad. we'll start our third possession on the 46. That's way better than our last possession, too. Absolutely. So with uh, 2.29 to go in the first quarter, 6-6 six, six to score. Blue Devils have the ball at their own 46. And I'm, I'm kind of wanting to see a little bit better run game uh, yeah. progressive progression. I want to see us get back to getting five at, five yards at least on first down. Yeah, even if we got to do something a little different. Slot right, Blaine Clark's going to try to throw it on first down. He sends Bud down. He tries to take it himself, and he's uh, going to get sacked yeah. for about a four-yard loss, three maybe. Yeah, Bud had one on him and one coming. I think that was a, you know, I mean, you hate to lose the yards, but – Certainly an interception would have been detrimental there. Yeah. Well, Rocket in the slot ran out there, and he ran like a little stop route behind Bud, who yeah. was kind of running an out and up kind of. And uh, it just didn't work out. They were covered well. So second and 13. Man, we just keep going the wrong way. Blake Clark in the ball game, slot right. He's got Rucker in the backfield. He's going to throw it quickly out to uh, – that's Rocket. He got about six uh, – well, he, he got about read it. eight, really, yeah. but because it was – Because there were a couple back. 13 back. Yeah. Now it's going to be about third down and about five. So, yeah, he picked up about eight on that play. Chase King is coming out. So Marley was out on that play. Yeah, and I think third down, I would I would hit Rocket in the slot. You know, we, we saw that last week early against North Panola, and it worked. 
hit and rock, rock it quickly in the slot. And it's worked yeah, every time seconds, we've hit three it. Three seconds on the play clock. Snap gets off, throw it to Rucker, swing it out. Rucker uh, just kind of gets hit and falls down yeah, at about the 45. About too short. That's going to be about a, a yard and a football short of the first down. Yeah. Fourth down, and I would like to see us go for that. But we're not. We're going to punt it. Ouch. Dalton Higgins is going to come in. This is this is a good time to call the fake right here. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whisper that. Hey, Chad, we need to run a fake right here. Uh, I'd say Blaine Clark needs to really run up under center and try to draw the off. There he is. There he goes. There, there he goes. Go. <laughs> uh, that hasn't worked all year, I don't think. <laughs> Early in the year, it against did Tarpeville. Yeah, yeah. That's about it. And uh, yeah, Blaine Clark just ran up, gave him a hard count, and three guys from the Panthers just entered the neutral zone and touched the offensive line. That's a five-yard penalty and a first down for the Blue Devils. I have a feeling they won't make that mistake again. But. No, well, that's when you run the fake that time, that's you know. Right. Say, hey, we ain't kidding. That's right. <laughs> we'll take it. So first and 10 for the Blue Devils at the uh, Panther 40-yard line. A lot right, but Jacob Welch back, is. back. He is very skinny. All right, here we go. Rucker's going to get the ball and try to get outside. Man, they're just getting oh, great penetration against our line, and which is strange. We're not used to that. Mm -mm. They've got guys shooting the gaps and, and our making guy, it through. Well, and our guys are four yards upfield with all of them, all of their defensive linemen behind them running down Tay. So I don't, I don't know. I, I, I can't figure it out. Are we just they just blowing past us? That's the end of the uh, first quarter. He scores six to six. We'll be back for second quarter action after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Midtown Auto Parts, your CarQuest dealer in Water Valley, has the parts you need for light and heavy-duty vehicles, custom-made hydraulic hoses for the farm, and heavy-duty equipment. Three- and four-wheeler parts and small engine parts, too. Midtown turns brakes and rotors. Check out their full line of K&N air filters. Midtown Auto Parts in the middle of downtown Water Valley is now open 6.30 a.m. till 6 p.m., six days a week. It's Midtown Auto Parts, the real parts store. C.W. White Incorporated Petroleum Products in Water Valley supports Blue Devil football as well as academics. In business since 1946, has been selling quality petroleum products at reasonable prices for those 60 plus years. C.W. White offers local express fuel with ethanol and non-ethanol free gasolines. Open 24-7 on Wise Street. Also additional locations of local express and Phillips 66 gasolines in Charleston, Batesville, Sardis and Senatobia. Wishing the best for the Blue Devils this season. On a starless Wednesday night, disaster strikes. The call goes out and shelter insurance is on the way. Disaster is helpless against shelter's awesome powers. Oh, you're working on mom's comic book. It's the graphic novel, Dad. <laughs> okay, the superhero's home and she's got pizza. Yes! Find your insurance superhero at shelterinsurance.com. You can save when you insure both your home and auto with Shelter. See Cherie Jackson for details. All right, we're back for the second quarter. About to get this thing started. Water Valley is trying to bump this score up. Trying to get a little bit of something going after the, you know, the first down didn't equate to much, but let's see what we can do here. Gonna have single right, I mean slot right, single left. He's gonna hand it off to uh, Gray. That's Dre McCray, number 10. He gets it up to the 40. Back to what, the original line of scrimmage maybe? Yep. Third and 10, Chad. We're just behind the sticks too much. We haven't been we haven't been here this year. I don't really I, I don't really remember a time where we've been in this position. This Maybe often. Winona. You know, Winona was a bit of a challenge at times. The second half last week. Yeah, second half was horrible. So rocket in the slot to the far side. Bud is to the near side. And they keep wanting that, that matchup. Number five for uh, the Panthers. Yeah, we're thinking to call timeout. We call timeout. 11 15 in the, the second quarter. We'll take the timeout with them. Be right back for 
Third down after this, you're watching Blue Devil Football. Joe Black and Associates Public Accountants located at 306 Railroad Street in Water Valley are proud supporters of Water Valley Blue Devil Athletics and Academics. Black and Associates wish the best for the Devils not only on the field, but in the classroom, offering individual, business, and estate tax planning and tax preparation, electronic filing, payroll, and general accounting services. Telephone 473-1441 or 234-8921. That's the secret phone. The what? Remember, I told you my dad's a shelter agent. When that phone rings, he rushes out to save the day. Whether someone's home or car gets damaged, my dad is always there to help. He has the coolest job ever. Find your insurance superhero at shelterinsurance.com. Got the insurance coverage you need at the right price. Call Cherie Jackson today. All right, third down. Blue Devils, third down and 10. Need a, need a good play. Uh, Panthers just had 13 men, 12 men on the field. That should be, uh, yeah. Oh, they just had a guy run off. Clay Clark's in the game. Got Rocket in the slot. Bud to the near side. He's man-to-man -man coverage right here. I think I would slip him out down the sideline, maybe. Moves Tay to the left side. He's going to throw it. He's going to throw it to Bailey. Oh, oh no. Nick. Oh, nice play by Bud. Man, I mean, this Bailey unlucky just, break, unlucky bounce. Bailey was falling down, and it hit his hands, yeah. but he was already out of, you know, and it just bounced off into the uh, defender's yeah. hands. Crazy, crazy. So, turnover, 11 minutes and seven in the second. And the ball just did not bounce our way that way, that time. Yep. Yeah. So, Panthers will have it at the 29. They're on 29-yard line. They're going to go single right, single single left. Luckett is – oh, that was a little movement right there. Thank you. They got him. They got him. That's going to back the Panthers up five yards. Chad, that bus that came in was the cheerleaders. They got about 30. <laughs> I ain't kidding. Well, they, they <laughs> more cheerleaders than fans. That's two Baker's dozens over there. Two Baker's dozens. There you go. <laughs> I asked my kids one day, how many was a Baker's dozen? And they all looked at me like, what in the world? Who's Baker? Who's, ba <laughs> Who's Baker? <laughs> all right. So first and 15, Devils need a stop here. Hand it off and they to, ran the uh, same play they were fixing. They were actually in the process of running a moment ago, too. Hand it off to uh, number one, Gainwell. That seems to be their uh, go-to guy for speed. He's a little quick. He got about three on the play. Call it second and about 11. Marley Cook's coming off. Paris is in the ball game. Kawan Hurden. Cameron Sales and Nate Murphy are all up on the line. Snaps back, there's a whistle, and uh, they're going to they're gonna say, is that a delay of game? What are they calling? Well, the clock's already on 25. It was at 25 when I looked up, but that would be yeah. a quick 25 seconds if that's what it was. In fact, they're calling delay, a uh, false start. Okay, good. You take that. Because that seemed a little quick for a uh, yeah. play, uh, play clock violation. So second now, 16. Cedric White is your DB on the near side. Rocket is the DB on the far side. Darius Tolbert, safety, and uh, oh, here we go. They're going to swing pass it out to Gainwell, and they are, the Devils are all over him. Cedric White's got him wrapped up at the 20. That's going to be a loss of about three yards. That's going to bring up third and 19. Well, Blue Devil defense is getting big right now, Chad. Something tells me with all the running of the football is. 
<laughs> this is going to be a faster game than last week. Luckett gets the ball. He's looking to try to throw it down the field. He hums it. Rockets in coverage, and he picked it off at the 45 yard line. Nice play by Rocket. Good job, good job. He just had in, inside position. The quarterback had no business throwing that ball. I mean, they were stride for stride running down the field. And he threw it inside. Yep. Rocket was like, thank you. <laughs> it was funny, too, that, that Rocket got, you know, kind of, you know, back in my house, we say, woed up. He got woed up enough and started, started making a turn again before the guy got him. Because his momentum could have, you know, carried him a few more yards downfield. Well, out of the playbook, you know, that's not a terrible call to throw yeah. it way down the field in case you pick right. us like a punt. Well, but and I think Burris laid the quarterback out too. Yeah. We put Rocket in motion. Blaine, uh, uh, Jacob Truss is going to take the ball around the right side. Kawan Hermes is his lead blocker, and he got his man. Jacob Truss got a tackle, though. Six. Oh, now there's a little, little extracurricular on number five right there. Looked well, like he was trying to punch. Kyle Warren was trying to pancake him, and I think he wanted a waffle. Well, number five over there just kind of yeah. slammed DQ Anderson, slammed his left arm at Kyle Warren, like trying to almost punch him while they were on the ground. He doesn't know Kyle Warren, does he? Uh, he better, he better <laughs> watch out. He'll get broken half. <laughs> I'm the only one that can tame Kawan. <laughs> no. So this time we got Rucker and Bud Tolbert stacked over here, and Jacob Trust going to run it right up the middle. He's he got it. He's got the his, first down. Oh, my goodness. Did you see the surge there when Jacob got in the middle? Yeah, we got, uh, we got two Marley. down. Marley laying down. He's just, oh, he shook it off. Yeah. Reset. He hit the reset button on that. That's right. He might have got his bell rung a little That's bit. That's what I was thinking. That looked like a bell so ring. He had his head down, pushing, driving. Somebody yeah. came in and probably just put a lick on him. That's the only thing I don't like about football. These, all these people hitting heads. It's about the dumbest yeah. thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Jacob Truss puts Rocket in motion. Low snap. He gets it off to Tay Rucker up the middle, and there's just nothing there. It, it, it's the handoff. Like, it's not fast enough, none of us would enough. think that Jacob is, you know, more efficient or faster or better than Tay, because Tay is certainly an excellent runner. But I notice when Jacob just takes the ball and runs it versus even Jacob or Blaine taking it and handing it off to Tay, handing it off to Rocket, whomever, it, it it's that, that close. It's that split second of a difference that the guys are getting to us. Well, here's it, what's bothering me. 8-14, eight, eight, we're still tied, 6-6. Six, yeah. six. It just seems like we're overpowering them a little bit. Hand off to Rucker around the right side. He's got some speed to cut back, and he got tackled by look like uh, 54 from us. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like Kaiwan. I mean, he like Kaiwan tackled him from behind. He's trying to say, go, more go. It's going to be third and five. It'll be third and about four. Third about four, 747 left in the half. Jacob Truss is in the ball game. This is, I would say, four down, maybe. I don't know. Four down territory. You would think it'd be four down territory. We get inside the 40. So Truss has Rucker, and he puts Rocket in motion. He's going to keep it, and he uh, slipped down. He's, he caught it, kept his feet. He got it over the 35. That's sure going to be a first down. He did not hit his knee. I mean, his knee. I'm telling you, his knee might have been three inches off the ground. Maybe even closer than that. Maybe yeah. like two, but it was not on the ground. First down, blew it up. If there had been an egg under Their his coach knee. coach is mad. He, they, he wanted that knee down. Yeah. If there had been an egg under his knee, he wouldn't have cracked it. That's about how. <laughs> but he would have probably touched the shell, maybe. Yeah. Put, a, put a stamp on it. <laughs> All right. First and ten, rocking in the slot. Uh, he's gonna, Trust is going to throw it down the field to Bud. Bud's got position. He's got the ball. Oh, he dropped oh, it. Good play. Oh, man. He caught it over the head of the he defender. He did, and the guy wrestled it away. Yeah, Wrestled Lee. it out of his hands. What a great throw by Trust, Woo. though. That was right on the money. Bud's got to – he's got to learn when he catches that ball, turn his body yep. into the receiver, not – don't not turn away. the ball. Yeah, don't turn the ball into him. Turn the body into it. Just take the reception. I see too many receivers, even at the college level, right. trying to get that yep. touchdown. Just take the reception. Well, it reminded me of DK, who 
who yeah. most of the time is going to come away with that, but that just that play didn't work out for us. Second and ten, Trust keeps it up the middle. He's got room. Wow, he's got a first down and more up to Out the 20-yard line. Big hole opened up right there for Jacob Trust. Good job, O-line. So, 6.45 to go in the half, and the Blue Devils are in the red zone, I guess. You could say if it, if it actually is on the 20. Yep, that's Just the red inside. zone. The nose of the ball is in the red zone. Slot left. Buzz near side. Man, they need to put him on a post route. He's wide open. Truss is going to pitch it to uh, Tay Rucker. Rucker gets it out. He's still, still on, on his, his feet. feet. Down to about the 11. About, a, about that eight-yard, nine-yard pickup yeah, on first exactly. down. And it didn't look like he got that much, but he just kept those legs The driving. guy hit him in his thighs and bounced off. And Tay just kept rolling. Well, see, he ran to his right, and I thought eh, he's not going to even get a yard or two. Yeah. And then I thought it looked like about a four-yard, but he was running on the angle, not straight across. <laughs> Water Valley fans are. That sounds like a mama, actually. Yeah, it's a mama wanting a touchdown. <laughs> hey, they better listen to her. She'll whip everybody on the field. Jacob Truss is in the game. He's got rocking in the slot. Man, him and uh, Welch are way out there. He's going to keep it himself. He's got it inside the five, down to about the four. Be first and Maybe goal. the three. First down at the uh, four-yard line. First and goal, Blue Devils. Now I'm going to have to climb out the window so I can see this. <laughs> they are in that position where it's hard to see. We have got, we got some mamas being cheerleaders, man. They are doing a great job. They're louder than our girls. Props to them. Blue Devils are going to have Jacob Truss in the ball game, Tay Rucker in the backfield. Bailey's kind of at the flanker position, put Rocket in motion. Jacob's going to keep it himself right up the middle. He's inside. The, he's down to about the two. Yeah. About the two-yard line. It's just to see of humanity in the middle there and just trying to sort it out. Second goal. It's a little hard to see, but it does look like it's right on the two. So this is about where we scored with uh, Rucker in the yep, first quarter. Because Tay was a two-yard run. So Rocket in the far side slot. Nobody over here on the near side. He puts Rocket going around. Jacob's going to keep it himself. He pulls his way up I in the middle. he's in. Is he in? He's Touchdown, in. Water Valley. Blue Devils put together a really good drive right there, Chad. I, yep. You know, that was just, it looks like, it looked like over the top, yep. Sylvester Stallone. That's right. They blew up his turn the hat around. Turn the hat around. Right, and he got on. a different grip. Got a good grip. So John Surrett's going to try to add to the lead. And Jacob Welch is the holder. Burris puts it right right down the middle. John there did, too. Extra point is good. The score is 13 to 6. Water Valley at the 439 mark in the second quarter. We'll take a break and be back for kickoff right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool Makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. C.W. White Incorporated Petroleum Products in Water Valley supports Blue Devil football as well as academics. In business since 1946, has been selling quality petroleum products at reasonable prices for those 60 plus years. C.W. White offers local express fuel with ethanol and non-ethanol free gasolines. Open 24-7 on Wise Street. Also additional locations of local express and Phillips 66 gasolines in Charleston, Batesville, Sardis and Senatobia. Wishing the best for the Blue Devils this season. We're back after the touchdown. Dre McCray is waiting on the ball. I think that's what the holdup is. We were waiting on the ball. The teams are set, ready, and uh, no ball to kick. That's a problem. You can't play football without one. Nope. Because then you just have a foot. 
And I don't think Drake McCray wants to play the rest of the game with people using his foot. <laughs> we need him to, man. Right. Here he goes. He puts a foot into it. It's to the right side. Man, that might go out of bounds. The guy lets it, oh! it dies. Oh, his foot was out of bounds. Oh, oh, oh. They're calling him. No way. Yeah. His foot was out of bounds when he picked up the ball, and they just let him go. Now, he only picked up two yards, Chad, yep. but that ball should have been marked down where right he picked there, it where up. He picked it up, where he touched it. That ticks right. me off. And the, the, the side judge was about to call it, and then he just let it go. He just missed that call. Blew it. I mean, he obviously picked it up with his foot out of bounds. How do you not? All right, so the Panthers will take over at their uh, own 17-yard line. They got trips right and uh, slot right, slot left, but they're going to try to run it, and the Blue Devils are not not, not having yeah, any of that stringing it, it out. That's so. right. So we will tackle you. The only thing I worry about, and I'm going to say this quietly, don't. I hope we do, I hope we stay home for the reverse. Well, because you know, we are set up for that. Well, right their now. touchdown, that long touchdown that um, Gain will scored a little while ago. It wasn't a reverse, but it was because of defensive ends. Both kind of came up and Look crashed in a little too much. Quad left. They yeah, they had that a minute ago. That see, was just, four receivers in a double stack. They're going to try to hum it downfield. Nobody's even no, close. Nobody's even close. I mean, that was just a – that was just like a room full was, of butterflies. You know, I don't know what was going on. You like a Hail Mary. Just throw it up and hope something happens. And Y'all yeah. run down the field and see if somebody can get open. You go, I'll just throw it. Yeah, you go long. I, don't know. I just don't understand what that is. That's going to bring up third and 11 for the Panthers. I believe that was going to be like, well, thanks. We'll, we'll take that all the time. Herbie's getting, Kawan Herbie's getting looked at by Drew, the uh, sports therapist guy. Trips left. They're going to hand it off to Gainwell, oh, oh, and he's got oh. some room. First down yeah. up to the 35 yard line. There's just a blown block right up in there. We just didn't. Got blown, our, our one guy that could have tackled him just kind of got blown out of the play. Yeah. This kid looks dangerous in the open field, too. And he's definitely not one you're going to run down. Nope. So, first and 10 for the Panthers at their own 35. They got it out of. Got it out of their own shadow of the end zone, kind of. This time they got slot left, uh, slot right. They put a man in motion. Now it's trips left. And that game well again. He picked up about. No, he's still oh going. Oh, my gosh. He's going down the field, and we can't get him down. There's just having a problem getting Stop this guy down. Stop trying to get the darn ball from right. him and tackle him. Tackle the legs. Tackle Gave the Gave him waist. 10 yards trying to pull the darn ball from him. Yeah, you just you got to get him around the things that are helping him go down the field. What are those? Legs. Yeah. He's not going to walk down the field on his hands. Well, we, you know, as oh, you know, people who love to watch a good defense, that stuff just drives me crazy and probably drives most of the viewers crazy And that, yeah, we want to make a big play. you got to tackle them. Trips left this time, single right. Luckett's going to keep the ball himself, try to run it. He gets hit immediately, but he fell forward yeah, for about three or four yards. Yeah, looks like he's going to give him about a four-yard pickup. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a big kid now. Yeah. I mean, he's not easy to bring down. Nate Murphy comes off. Cameron Sales comes in. It's funny, he looks small compared to those grown men on the front up there. Yeah. <clears throat> See, so he's got Gainwell in the backfield with him this time. Slot left, slot right. Send the house. They put number five in motion. So now they've got You know it's not right. a pass. They hand it off to Gainwell right up the middle. He gets hit and he's just, man, he's hard to get down. Look at that. He keeps those, and that's Vincent right there yeah. trying to make the tackle. He picked up another four, call it about third and two, third, one and a half. Yeah, we won't make any bones about it. Vincent's probably one of our strongest men there in the middle. Yeah. And it took him a little bit of effort to get him down. So now we need a little help out of the defense, out of the Panthers. Maybe help, maybe they'll go backwards. Maybe a turnover. Yeah. But uh, number 72, their big boy is looking a little tired already. They got yep, trips 77 left. 77 moves. 77 moves. 
Now, is that going to be on us or them? Are they going to say false start on the That'll offense? Back them up. Man, I need to start saying that more often. That's right. And I'll just agree with you. <laughs> it is working. <laughs> Yeah. So, Nate Murphy. so third and uh, seven call it for the Panthers. Blue Devils need a big stop here. It's four down territory, so they're gonna, they're gonna have to stop them. Got to stop them twice. So Something coming out right here now. Luckett's gonna keep it himself. Isaiah White mm -hmm. and pick up about Grant two. Burris. We're gonna get him for so about only a two-yard. and five, maybe. Yep. Fourth and fourth four. And call it four. Grant Burris and uh, Isaiah White, good tackle right there. They're going to call timeout and talk about it. We'll take a timeout with them and be right back for fourth down right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Coffeeville Insurance and Main Street Insurance offer a variety of insurance to meet you and your family's needs. Through such companies as Allstate, MetLife, AIG, Zurich, Drive-By Progressive, plus many more companies. Tyler Wortham, Beverly Freer, Jan Wortham, and Marlene Guzman invite you to stop by for your home, auto, health, life, commercial, and motorcycle insurance needs. Coffeeville Insurance Agency on Depot Street, across from the bank, and Main Street Insurance in Water Valley, next to Valley Lumber. Something good is waiting for you at Vans Furniture and Laundry in Water Valley. Living room sets, bedding, sofas, and a great selection of furnishings for your home. Ashley, Simmons, Franklin, American, too many remarkable brand names to mention. 12 months same as cash and up to 24 months financing. Vans Laundry cleans all types of school and work uniforms. 10% discount to all military, first responders, and ministers. Vans Furniture and Laundry located in the same building in Cash Saver Shopping Center, Water Valley. Tri Lake Eye Clinic is proud to support the Water Valley Blue Devils. Dr. Edwards and his staff realize that teamwork is important not only in sports but in bringing you the best eye care possible. Dr. Edwards is teamed with Zeiss VisuCam to bring the most advanced diagnostic imaging system to the area. The Zeiss OCT detects glaucoma, macular degeneration, and diabetic eye disease earlier than any previous instrument in eye care. Tri Lake Eye Clinic, seeing in better so you can see out better. All right, fourth down for the Panthers. Blue Devils, only a minute, 14 seconds left in the half. Need a big stop here. Gainwell is back there by himself in the uh, Wild Panther. Now we've got like pretty much four receivers on the left. He's going to keep it. And it's a jailbreak there right you there. Go. That's going to be, there's a flag down on the play over there, too. Yeah. Uh oh, that would be a turnover on downs. Let's check the flag. It's got to be. Yeah. And to let the play go, that's kind of like an offside. There's a flag on this side of the field, too. There's one on the other side. Oh, he's talking to Brad. We're going to decline it. That's going to be on them. Yeah. Good job. Turnover on downs, Blue Devils. Nice. So with a minute and eight seconds go. up by seven points, the Blue Good Devils. Stop. Blue Devils will be going the other way. First and 10 from their own 20, call it the 22 yard line. What do you do here? Do you try to run it a couple times? Do you, we get. Uh, I'm throwing it down the field. We get the ball in the second half. That's right. We got what, two timeouts left? Yeah. Uh, here's the time where if you've got, a, you've got some kind of play drawn up to use. This, this is, is the annexation of Puerto Rico yeah. time. Uh, Tay Rucker's lined up in the slot. Jacob's just going to take it up the middle and run up in the pile. And uh, that's not that's not that's not anything new, Chad. We were kind of hoping for the Maybe NXT. bounce him out or at least come over here and run out of bounds. Right. Throw it. Run Pick up what, about just going to run three. the clock out. That's all we're going to do. That's a little bit of a Nick Saban type coaching style there. Nick Saban doesn't care about how much he wins by. He just, he wants, just to wants to win. win. That's right. <laughs> so, 32 seconds left in the half. Jacob Truss is going to keep it right up the middle again. He's got a little room this time. He might get the first down. The, first the ball down. pops out, uh, and Panthers jump on it. See? Yep. That's why it's, it doesn't matter what you do. Just play. Yep. I, I don't know. I don't know. 
He would have had the first down, but you yeah. know, right at the end, he kind of turned sideways and was headed and backwards, and the just, ball just yeah. squirted right yep. down the field. So with 21.2 seconds left in the first half, the Panthers have a chance at their own 38 yard, uh, the Water Valley 38 yard line. Yeah, I'm with you, Chad. I throw it down the field one time, you know. You can always run it out. Let's see if we can't get Bud on a one, one, you know, man, man yeah. to man coverage. Let's see if we can get him the ball down the field. So Gainwell over here is set up at receiver. Luckett's going to try to hum it down the field. He's got a man, but it's Bud Tolbert who he's got. Bud's got the interception. He cuts it back. Uh, Gainwell makes a tackle at the 15. Wow. Well, take that. Let's take a knee. Yeah. <laughs> 11 seconds left in the half, 13 to six, your score in favor of the Blue Devils. And I'm gonna assume we're just going after that last play, take a knee take and a go knee. in the house, which I'm gonna tell you what, I'd chunk it. I'd chunk it right here. I would act like we're gonna line up in victory formation or safe, you know, safe formation and then hum it down the field to uh, Bud. I'd do it because look, <laughs> the only the only thing that can really hurt you at this point is they catch it and run it all the way back. That's not likely. Possible, no, but not likely. So we're just going to take a knee and take it on into the house. Eight, seven, six, five, four. And that's the end of the half. Blue Devils are up 13 to six at halftime. We'll be back for the Dunn's Country Store scoring summary right after this you're watching blue devil football there's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area a way of life you don't find just anywhere and at mechanics bank we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing it's that hometown feel that commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises but genuine helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. Valley, see your good neighbor, State Farm agent, Andy Epps, for your insurance and financial needs. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan & Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. Attorneys Kevin Horan, Jimmy Powell, and Brad Dagnault are ready and prepared to fight for your rights. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact them at 226-2185 or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. At Yalabusha General Hospital, we're not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We're not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. The Blue Devil score in summary is sponsored by Dunn's Country Store on Highway 32 West in the Silverina community. Features hickory smoked barbecue, hand padded never frozen hamburgers, farm raised catfish, and their cooked order ribeyes served each Friday and Saturday nights. All right, we're back at halftime. Blue Devils have taken a 13 to 6 lead over the Panthers of Yazoo County. Chad. It's time for the Dunn's Country Store scoring summary. How did it happen? How well, the... you know, we were just joking a moment ago that the scoring summary yet is not nearly as long as some that we have seen and certainly not as long as the one that got away from us last week. So getting the scoring uh, started off tonight, first quarter, six minutes, 45 seconds left to go. Number 16, Jacob Truss handed off to number 17, Tay Rucker. Tay took it in for the two-yard touchdown run. Our PAT was no good, actually bounced off um, the upright. And your Water Valley Blue Devils took the lead 6-0 at that point. Very quickly, 55 seconds later, 
Number one, Corey Gainwell from the Yazoo County Panthers, um, keeping it himself, ran 62-yard touchdown run. Their two-point conversion, and we've seen this seemingly a lot more in the past several games of trying to go for the two-point conversion. Their two-point conversion was no good, and at that point, five minutes, 50 seconds left in the first quarter, your score was tied at 6-6. Six to six. In the second quarter, four minutes, 39 seconds left to go in the second quarter in the first half. Number 16, Jacob Truss, and we saw Jacob a whole lot on this series, kept it himself. Jacob took it in for the two-yard touchdown run. Our PAT was good. We took the lead 13-6, to six, and that's where we stand right now at halftime and have the advantage. It seemed like, you know, momentum kind of shifted kind of crazy there the last, what, minute or so, and we just decided to take a knee and take the lead and we're going to get the ball to start the second half. Yeah, and I thought Water Valley pretty much controlled – you know, after those first couple possessions, we kind of, you know, they had a good scheme. But I'm telling you, I, like all the other teams we played that we just kind of, we just wore them out, yeah. wore them down. And they're getting tired quick. We're body blows. It's just We hard. haven't uppercut them yet. We've right. got some body blows. Right. And we just keep hitting them and keep hitting them and keep yep. hitting them. And, and then before too long, we have too many weapons yeah. for this team. You know, and uh, I think – you know, if we can just keep Gainwell from doing anything. From gaining. From gaining, you're right. right. We'll be okay. And yeah. I think that's just the whole key to the game. And I think right. Emory knows that. You just yeah. keep him out of the end zone and you're okay. That's right. So the Blue Devils up by seven going into the uh, second half. We'll take a break and be back for the kickoff. Second half kickoff right after this. You're watching Blue Devil football. Turnage Drug Store, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drug Store on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. There's a special quality of life we enjoy here in our area, a way of life you don't find just anywhere. And at Mechanics Bank, we're working together with you to keep a good thing growing. It's that hometown feel, that commitment to make sure you get not just words and empty promises, but genuine, helpful financial service from local people who share your values and have a heart for your community. Standing strong, standing the test of time. Mechanics Bank. When did insurance companies start emailing handshakes? Why is a billboard the only place you see your agent's face? Who decided you can't have good rates and good coverage? If you're questioning your insurance options, get real answers from a real person with a Farm Bureau Insurance Get Real Review. It's simple, quick, and tailored just for you. Get real auto, home, and life insurance. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. See agents Chuck Upchurch, Don Gray, and Bradley Brown. If you're looking for a gift that is personalized, one of a kind, far from the ordinary, and reasonably priced, The Other Room has just what you're looking for. Custom orders for any occasion are Kay's specialty. All right, second half action is about to get underway. Uh, Chad, tonight's winner, if we are able to keep the lead, and this is, we, will, we will play the winner of the Boonville Aberdeen game. And I'm not sure which team would match up better for us, or you know, uh, six to one half dozen the other. I don't know. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's kind of like congratulations, you win. Yeah, this is what you get. So they're looking like they're trying to kick it out of bounds. Man, we're going to get the ball on the 42, 43 yard line. All right, now listen. I apologize, everybody. I was wrong. I'm a kicker, and I know this rule, and I got it wrong earlier. If the kickoff team picks the ball up with one foot out of bounds, guess what that is? Out of bounds. That that's a kick out of bounds. So ah. they they should have, we should have, they should have got the ball at the 35 yard line. Wow. So okay. yeah, the the referee blew that call in our favor. Mm. He missed it. I, I still stick with that, but he missed it in our favor. <laughs> so right. <laughs> so yeah, that's an old rule that not many people know about. And, and I was standing in line at the concession stand and it hit me that that is actually 
supposed to be a kick out of bounds if he touched it while huh. his foot was out. So we're not going to get too upset about it. Yeah, because I knew that <laughs> rule back in the day, and I forgot about it, and it just it came back and hit me while I was standing there. I don't know why, what made me think of it, but, yeah, I, I knew I was wrong. Yeah, we got uh, Coach Emery talking to the white hat. I don't know what's going on down there, but it didn't seem too important because he's not a, he's not furious or anything. So He asked him if he was cold. <laughs> hey, y'all cold? Uh, we need some hot chocolate out of the uh, concession. Y'all got coffee or hot chocolate? You think Bobby Boucher serves um, hot chocolate? Uh-oh. Moving the ball. Ball to start. Ball to start. Wow. That's a little weird. I didn't see a play. I didn't even see his line up. So Jacob Truss is in. He's going to take it right up the middle. And we, uh, I tell you what, Coach Emery must know something's going on. He must see what I kind of saw at the end of the half. We're wearing them down and starting to push them backwards. Yep. That's and the first time, you know, right, you know, last, what, three minutes, four minutes or so of the first half, well, right when Jacob scored, you know, started seeing them moving backwards a little yeah. bit, and they had been coming towards us a whole lot faster. Now they're moving backwards a little faster. Certainly benefits us at the moment. Second down and about seven. Jacob Truss is uh, by himself back there. He puts Bailey in motion. He's going to throw it this time to rock it out in the slot. He's got it, and he falls forward to the 38. 39, 38 yard line. Right at the first down. It's going to be real close. Yeah, he's he's pushing them far, or waving them forward. So it's going to be first down for us. A little bit of a high pass. It, it kind of held my breath for a Made second. Made me anxious because it looked like that when it bounced wrong and wound up in the defender's arm, right. arms a little earlier. Well, we talked to some of the folks from. Yeah, dude, they've got a lot more fans here now. Yeah. Just a long drive. People have to work, man. Over, you know? Just right at two hours, what yeah. they said. Trust gets the ball and sprints out to the right. He's going to keep it. He's got it up. Oh, now that's a little bit of a hit out of bounds. White Where's almost got it. He got it up. That's nine, eight, eight and a half yards on first down. There's your average. Now we're back on it. Back on average. Second down and two for the Blue Devils. Good starting point. So second about, call it a, a I don't want to call it two because it's not. More like about it, four feet. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so Chase King's in. Marley must be. Uh, he, no, Marley's on the right side. That's uh, he's in for Kaiwan. That's Rucker up the middle on a carry, and he's got the first down, just past the first down mar marker, down to about the. The 20, yeah. just inside the 28, so in between 28 and 27. Nevertheless, it'll be a first down for the Blue Devils. Yeah, Paris is sitting on the bench over here. I don't know what's wrong with Herbie. I don't even see him out on the field or on the sideline. And he, remember, he was talking to Drew earlier. Remember that? Yep. And... Uh, I was wondering what's going on with him. So Rucker's in the backfield with the. Uh, well, we saw, you know, in trust. I, I He's never throw saw. throw it down the field to Bud. Uh, oh. I never saw with Kawan what happened that actually, you know, injured him or hurt him or whatever. He wasn't walking funny. He wasn't right. hurt. Didn't look like it. Yeah. All but sudden, then we saw him down here with Drew earlier. I mean, you know, right at the end of the second, um, second quarter. Yeah, but he's definitely, I don't even see him on the field. Maybe he's getting taped. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. We don't have a field reporter. Maybe we'll get one next year. We'll, That's what we need. We'll get us a field reporter. One of those blonde-haired girls and named Kelly. No. One of them that can <laughs> run real fast and <laughs> jump real high. Teddy Rucker runs to the left side and just oh, ran God. right into a guy. That's going to bring up – that's going to be a loss of about three, Teddy so it's going to bring up – Ooh, third down and 13. Well, we were doing so good. What do you do here? Blaine has not come in the game yet. It's crazy. You know, I made a mention of that earlier. It's that split second difference of Jacob running, handing the ball off. Yeah. 
He's going to throw it. He throws it out and rocket high uh, pass. Just a little over high. his head. And Gainwell gives him a little shove just for good measure. Well, can't kick a field goal from here, but it is four down territory. Blaine comes in. Truss is on his way out. And, uh, you know, this is – I kind of I kind of like putting Bud on a uh, – Nice little post maybe. That or just sprint him down the field to stop. But you know. Bud is – unless I've lost him. Oh, he's way over here. Yeah, Never he's mind. way over. He was right – he was on the other side of the two before right here around the window. <laughs> <laughs> he was hiding. He was in your blind spot. He was in my blind spot. Well, officer, I didn't see him. I would have slowed down. Right. They put Rocket in motion. Blaine's going to throw it to Bud. Uh, Whistles. Bud would have probably may would have had that have to one. be fault start on this. Mm. Dead ball. Fault start against the blue level. Yep, Man. that backs them up five. Man, fourth and a bunch. You might might want to even punt here. We got a few bullets in the feet right now. Man, what are they, it's like Brings fourth it and the, uh, what, 18, 19. That's the 35 yard line. Yeah, that's Whew. fourth and 18. I'm gonna go. I, I don't know. I kind of want to punt it from right here. Get get them deep. All right, Blaine's going to chunk it, I guess. He throws it. Uh, well, oh, he's, uh, he's, now he's sacked for a loss of about three. He just had nowhere to go. Man, he looked, took one step, and those guys were all over him. Yeah. Well, he ran to his left a little yeah. bit, which is the smaller side of our line. And I just, I don't know, Chad. You remember I, you remember I told you, I thought we ought to punt it on that one. Yeah. But. Well, and I'm not a quarterback. I'm never going to pretend to be. But, you know, Blaine is right-handed. And rolling to your left, it's a little more unnatural. Yeah. It's like, I tell you what it's like. It's like a left-handed shortstop. The footwork and the yeah. shoulder turn is, yeah. is awkward. It's just, it it kind of gets cattywampus. So the Panthers have their first possession. Oh, oh, it's a little, little bit bobble. of a bobble stab. He hands still it handed it all. Gainwell and uh, Benson makes a tackle about the uh, 39. He's still got about a yard. Oh, though. they give him the 41 on that, Chad. Wow. The 41 yard line. He <laughs> I thought they had him closer to the 39. I, I was willing to give up the 40, maybe, but they give him one yard, but they give him a two yard gain. Two yard wow. gain. I'm not real sure I agree with that. I'm going to go down there, and you and I are going to go argue with number 77 and 72. How about that? Let's do it. <laughs> well, luck it. Going to throw it this time. And he oh! Vincent tried to run without it. <laughs> he thought he had it in his hand. I mean, they Man. luck it threw it into his little, into his arm right here. Right. I mean, just beautiful, man. Vincent thought, okay, that's. That's going to be the perfect throw. I'm going to just grab it and go. Third down and about eight. Come on, D. Let's go. They have not. They have not been good throwing the ball at all. No. I think there's a reason that they're they're averaging so many more rushing right. yards. They're going to try to throw it. Nate Murphy's got there it down. Go. Back at the 27-yard line. Wow. Maybe the 26. Now, oh, there he, they moved him back to the 27. Yeah, I mean, that, I just don't get it. They have not thrown the ball yet. Uh, have they complete? They haven't completed a ball yet, have they? They did to Bud right before halftime. They threw it. No, uh, they swung pass it. <laughs> well, yeah, and then, but they they threw a swing They've, pass. To, yeah, to, but uh, even the swing pass. Game remember one? earlier he threw it behind him, and the right. guy had to get on it and lost. I don't know, guys, 12 or 14 yards, something. I don't remember the number. Yeah. All right, so they're gonna have to punt. Fourth and a bunch. He gets it off, and that's a short punt. Man, get out of the way. Let it go. <laughs> Coach Embry's telling said, go the other way. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good roll, though. Yeah, that's pretty, and pretty fortunate. I'm telling you, I would go a two, two. I would go two guys deep to catch the ball. Yeah. I mean, it just makes more sense. One guy up short a little bit to the short left side, uh, the short left side of the kicker, short yep. right side on our side. Because your, your shanks are pretty much going to go low left. Yep. And that, that guy, you know, you catch that ball, that saves you about 10 yards. Yeah, because it rolled, I mean, a, you know, a decent amount. 
you know, certainly helped their average, I guess, is. Well, 8.06 to go in the uh, third quarter. Now Drew is running across the field over there. I don't know. Maybe they've got somebody he's, he's going to go check on with them. Yeah, he's wanting somebody to get looked at. The coach is. You know, we're fortunate to have somebody here, you know, that can Two do guys. that too. That's right. Yeah, a couple of guys. That's right. Chad you know, Andrew. For, yeah, I forgot about Chad. Um, you know, not every school is certainly, you know, fortunate to have that. Great resource. Yeah, that's right. So Jacob Truss in the ball game he puts uh, Rocket in motion. He's going to try to keep it up the middle. He got, he got maybe a, one. Yard, maybe. maybe. I think he might have gotten bare, not even quite to the 45. Well, back to our one yard gain on first. Have you noticed, and I haven't kept up with it completely, but it's been kind of cyclical. We'll do really well and then do really poorly. They'll do really yeah. well and then really poorly. It's just a cycle. I don't know what it yeah. is, but Trust hands off to Rucker. It's a reverse to Rocket. Uh oh. He's got room, baby. Turn Good luck. On the blaster. Oh, they're going to get Jacob Wells for a hold. That's bull. Jacob had him inside the pads. That's crazy. I'm coming back. Yeah, I saw Jacob Welch had his guy, and it was, it was a pretty good block. I mean, he was blocking the guy. I did not see a hold at all out of, out of that. But they're going to call it on him. Yep. Spot foul. It's going to be, what, a net gain of about three or three four. Three or four yards, yep. Jacob's mad. I, I think he's rightly so mad because I did not see, you know, maybe he had that arm just a little bit outside. I, I don't know. But. Well, you and I both know the old adage, there's holding on every play. Yeah. But generally speaking, if you kind of keep your hands close to the numbers, they're not usually going to call that. Rocket's kind of winded maybe, hopefully. Well, he, yeah, he's he okay. He ran a long way. For uh, what, two yards, three yards? Got Morgan out there. Put Morgan in motion. Trey Sean. Yeah, haven't called his Tony name Trust tonight. Trust is going to run it himself. Wow, he just slipped by that guy, number 53 for the uh, Panthers. The first down. Well, well, the corner guard Chase King did a really good job of getting his butt over there yep. and sealing that that upfield block, and that that's the difference between the first down and maybe a four-yard game. Yeah. Yep. Rockets back in. And I'm going to tell you what, you can talk to a lot of linemen, they'll all tell you that is a hard thing to do because that's probably one of their hardest jobs is whenever they have to pull. Because Chase is playing left guard, mm -hmm. and he's got to get all the way over there in front of Jacob and make a make a block upfield. Rocket in motion, but then he stops. Jacob's going to keep it up the middle himself. He gets about four. All right. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's just, we're just pounding away at him, pounding away, pounding away. Six minutes and 25 seconds left in the third quarter. Jacob may be sore in the morning, yeah. but it might be a little sweeter if we can keep this, you know, push up. Score still is 13 to six. In yeah, it's way tighter than it even than it feels. You know, it, it's. It feels like we're beating them. Down. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's true. You know, you look at the, uh, their their match against Charleston. They only they, uh, they got beat 20, 20 to six. six. Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Okay, that's a little bit of, uh, okay, get up off the quarterback, get up off. It's funny, you can hear the difference in the mother who's cheering and the father who's yelling. <laughs> <laughs> distinct, distinct. All Not right. just pitch, but tone. <laughs> this is an important down right here, Chad. Yeah. Third and about Man. six. We need a first down here. Gotta have it. Gonna go slot right. He's gonna put Rocket in motion. We got two backs in the backfield. Jacob's gonna keep it himself. There's nothing there. He might be lost a couple, lost a yard. Well, fourth and eight from the 43. Got a punt. Hey, yeah. You don't even have to think about this one. Well, this is the area. 
where punters usually have either their worst punt or their best punt, and they both are bad because their best punt goes in the end zone. Their worst punt is about you know 12 yards downfield. Yeah. Let's see if Jacob pin them deep. Bad snap, but he got it. He boops it and he killed it. Look, I told you. Best punt of the day, it goes into the end zone, touchback. Nah. See, <laughs> telling you, for some reason, it's yeah. like a curse. That area of the field is so hard to hit the ball. But is it a mental curse? I mean, do you as a punter think about that um, kind of stuff? It's it's almost like uh, throwing rocks at a light light pole. Right. Remember when you're a kid, you throw rocks at a light pole? Yep. Like, hey, ain't no way I'm going to hit that. Boom. Boom. <laughs> and he break it. <laughs> break it. Mom goes, why didn't you like, get your butt in here? Right. You know? So then you blame like your brother. You're, you're back there and you think, well, I haven't hit a punt that far in a while. Yeah. They're 43 yards to the end zone. Yep. I hadn't hit one that far. Boom, there it goes, <laughs> you know. So. And we were just, happened. I mean, just shy of getting it down on about the one. And yeah. It's a curse. Kicker's curse. Panthers are going to line up. Trips right. Uh, Luckett gets the ball. He's going to pitch it out to Gainwell. Weird and guess play what? There, man. Uh, Paris and. Uh, Nate, maybe not Benson, and uh, yeah, it was Nate. Nate Murphy, Benson, and Paris Adams. They just swallowed it. They're not tricking us on that. That's a loss no. of four. 4.50 to go in the third. I want to tell you what, I've been surprised that they've got a pretty good dead gum defense. They do. Absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> I wouldn't necessarily give them the credit I would give North Panola, right. but probably a Winona-based defense. That's right. I think they would give Winona a run for their money. You're right. All right, here's Luckett. He's going to want to try to chunk. Now, that's number eight. That's pick. There you go. By Darius Tolbert's got the pick running the other way. He's down inside the 20. There's a flag down. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils. If that's going to be a touchdown. If it stands, there is a flag down at the 12-yard line. And I'm going to tell you what, the coaches have been talking. I hope he's not watching. Don't don't let this go to your head. Coaches have been talking uh, Darius up really well. I think he's probably one of our our best defenders. Yeah. All around I on the agree. defense, he's yep. got to be our best defender. Well, you know, in earlier in the year. He's in on everything. Right. You know, he. There you go. There it is. Touchdown. Touchdown, Water Valley. So. That'll put us at 19. Extra point would make it 20. Darius Tolbert has put the defense on the board for Water Valley this week. And he, that was not an easy interception, too, because he caught it around his right. feet, you know? And then uh, and he kind of caught it trying to slow down and at his feet, and then he caught it and went yep. left. And then, came, I mean, that was just a great effort. McIntosh has got to do a good job out there on that wing, sealing that in. Punch and punch. Punch right, punch left. Uh-oh, we got a, I got it. It's, got a it, Yeah, there's a little bit of movement, Offside but I defense. think it's on them. It is. He pointed immediately. Great. Yep. I'd go for two. <laughs> I'd put Truss in and go for two. Yep. Let's get that point back. That's right. You know, they got to start giving you the option to put those on the uh, kickoff. Because, I mean, that's. Yeah, what's one yard? You can if either gonna, take it, I mean, if you're going to do an or, extra point, I mean, what's one yeah. yard? That's nothing. It doesn't help anything. All right, snaps back. Good snap, good hold, good kick. That ball is up through there. Good I think score. 417 in the third, 20 to 6. Water Valley leads. We'll be back for kickoff after this message. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alaboshi County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool Makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Industrial Park off of Highway 32 West and Railroad Street in Water Valley. Locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. Did you know that my mom's a superhero? Really? Yeah, when a tornado hits, they call my mom to come help. She races to the scene with her team, and they use their powers to help everyone get their things fixed. Whoa! Everything okay with your friend back there? Yeah, he's just never seen a superhero before. 
asked shelter agent Cherie Jackson about shelter's competitive insurance rates. Turnage Drug Store, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drug Store on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. At Yalabusha General Hospital, we're not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We're not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. All right, Water Valley's about to kick this thing off to the Panthers. Looking down here at Darius Tolbert. Just scored the touchdown, got the pick six. Uh, the kick is going down to about the 13. And that is That's Nate in wow. first Nate, contact. Nate made first contact. Slowed him down almost to a stop. Somebody came in and cleaned him up. I think that was number 99. Isaiah. Isaiah, yeah. So the Panthers will start from their own 29. Look, a shout out to Will Embry getting the tee and bringing in. Man, yeah. It's hard being a coach's son, man. Yeah. You don't get paid for nothing. <laughs> and you're expected to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon take, he's ever asked? Take the ever. weed eater and weed eat down that whole fence line. And I wonder how many times he get, he asked Coach Embry why before Embry just set him straight and just said, look, son. <laughs> if this is your life. Just don't <laughs> ask. Just do. And we've been out here many times. I'll be working on a fence and or whatever and fixing this or fixing that. And, Brad and I'll have Will out here cleaning up, weed eating. You know. Good for him, builds character. That's right. That's what we're supposed to tell them anyway. 4-10 left in the third quarter. I can't hear you. Oh yeah, they, the Panthers are moved all the way back to their 14 yard line. High snap. Uh, Luckett is gone and he, number eight's the quarterback. He handed it off. And the Blue Devils were in the backfield when it happened. That's a four-yard loss. Tackle for loss right there. These guys are moving back at a rate. They're going to have to be a little cautious so that's they Cameron, get a safety. Cameron Schaefer is in the ball game at quarterback now for the Panthers. A lot. I wonder what happened to Luckett. I wonder if he's one know. of the reasons they uh, drew ran over there. Whatever. It could have been. Yep. So they're going to line up slot left, slot right. Single back. It's Gainwell in the backfield. He hands off to Gainwell right up the middle. He's hit by three guys and drug down for probably a no gain. It's going to be third, about 14, coming up. What in the world is this dance at our DBs? And what is Vincent doing? <laughs> <laughs> Looked like they were holding their hand because they had hurt their hand. And jumping up and down. Like their hands are cold. It yeah. is cold. It's a little bit. I like it. It's football weather. Yeah. All right. Trips left. Single right. They're going to. Oh, fumble. Bad snap. The ball's on the ground. Look, Blue Devils might have it. Ah, fourth down. Now he's, he's signaling fourth down. Wow. It's time to go after the ball, though. Well, yeah, they're going to be punting out of the end zone. And uh, they have not, they've gotten the punts off, but they haven't been pretty. I yeah. would drop two guys back, punt safe, don't go out. I wouldn't go after it. I'd play field position. Let's, you know, put two return guys back and let's catch this ball. I would put Jacob Welch back, or Darius, I tell you what, I'd put Darius yep. Tolbert yep. and, and uh, Rocket, or Rocket and Bud back. That's me. I'm no coach, man. <laughs> I'm an armchair. <laughs> That armchair stuff. He is standing eight yards Ooh. in the end zone. So the snap better be perfect. Uh-oh, we jumped oh. off. Of course, we got side. like 20 yards That's to get Nate. him. Yeah. That's Nate. We don't need the block right here. We got we got great field position. Uh. That's not going to hurt. We'd have to do that four more times. Let's not do it anymore. Uh-oh.
Dead ball all sides against the Blue Devils. Well, here's what I don't like. He'll, he'll barely be in the end zone, but man, it's just something about being deep in your end zone that makes that kicker mess up real bad. Mental. The snap's good. It's off. It's a pretty decent kick. He turned over. Rockets got it. He's down at the 41. Man, safe. It's a good. He yeah. didn't know, but he could have. Uh, he could have taken off. I think uh, Rocket had a, a lot of room there. In front I think of him. he started looking at it a little too early, and but he had a guy coming, but yeah. he passed him. He had yeah. a block. We're going to take a quick break and be right back for the Blue Devil possession. Right after this, you're watching Blue Devil. Football. Valley, see your good neighbor, State Farm agent, Andy Epps, for your insurance and financial needs. CWI Incorporated Petroleum Products in Water Valley supports Blue Devil football as well as academics. In business since 1946, has been selling quality petroleum products at reasonable prices for those 60 plus years. CWI White offers local express fuel with ethanol and non ethanol free gasolines. Open 24 7 on Wise Street. Also, additional locations of Local Express and Phillips 66 Gasolines in Charleston, Batesville, Sardis, and Senatobia. Wishing the best for the Blue Devils this season. Something good is waiting for you at Vans Furniture and Laundry in Water Valley. Living room sets, bedding, sofas, and a great selection of furnishings for your home. Ashley, Simmons, Franklin, American. Too many remarkable brand names to mention. 12 months same as cash and up to 24 months financing. Vans Laundry cleans all types of school and work uniforms. 10% discount to all military, first responders, and ministers. Vans Furniture and Laundry located in the same building in Cash Saver Shopping Center, Water Valley. Blue Devils got the ball up 20 to 6, 152 in the third quarter. Jake Truss is in the ball game with Tay Rucker in the backfield. Rocket in the slot on the far side. Kyle Houston on the near side. Low snap. He gives it off to Rucker right up the middle, and Rucker falls forward for about three. You're right, Chad. I, I think there's just something about that handoff taking a little bit yep. of time. They're, it's they're, just they're enough. Pinching. They're it's, pinching yep. the gaps. It's just enough. I mean, and it, it, it wouldn't matter if it was Blaine in there. It wouldn't even right. matter if we put Rocket or Rucker in at quarterback. Right, it's just the result handoff. would be the same. It's, it's that split second handoff that's the the disadvantage, I guess, I probably is a way to word it at this point. Well, Truss is uh, still in. He's going to put Rocket in motion. He hands off to Rocket around the right side. He's trying to make the corner. He cuts it back up. Nice move. Now, oh, what a block there by Ty, Ty Morgan. Rocket's got the first down, and he's out. Oh, now look at that. That's hey, got to be hey, a flag. Hey, we got it. We got it. We got it. Well, I'm just worried about Rocket. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that was tackled. They were still tackling four yards out of bounds. Yeah, that flag went about 15 yards up in the air, too. I think it just yeah. landed. Well, you saw that coming. It was a frustration tackle out yeah. of the Panthers. Yeah, almost got about three cheerleaders, a couple of coaches. I know. Probably tore your fence up over there. No, that thing's a commercial fence. It ain't going anywhere. <laughs> It'll slingshot them back into the field of play. <laughs> it's like the ropes in yeah, WWE. We, that's right. We, we put a commercial fence. That's going to be 15 yards and or the end half the, the distance. Well, are we within 30? It's going to have to be half the distance. Half the distance. Right? Taking it down to about the 12 yard line. The first and 10 right outside the 12. Little Blue Devils. Morgan's in the game. Treshawn. He's going to be in the slot. Rocket had to come out for this one. I mean, yeah, he just got bulldog into the fence. You know, Chad, that is commercial grade steel over there. <laughs> Plenty of ties on it, too. Do the job. It's good. Puts Morgan in more, uh, motion. Oh, man. Jacob got hit immediately. And then rolled on. Yeah. He lost about two. About the first loss from you know from that that particular.
play. Well, I do. I love the sprint right, sprint left, and that gets their linebackers. Their linebackers are good. Mm -hmm. They are filling the gaps. The uh, defensive line is good. Well, and it causes an attentive linebacker to have to make a different decision. Right. I, I like it. Sprint left, sprint right, and get up field. So second and about 12. Now they jump offside and throw one of our guys down. That's got to be a little <laughs> bit of an extra penalty whenever they just get a – that's like unsportsmanlike. Yeah. And he's coming out. <laughs> well, see, you, you kind of – here's 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 what I think about that. You've got a lineman in his stance not doing anything. The defender fires off illegally and rolls you. Yeah. That's got to be unsportsmanlike. Right. You know? That's more than Even just – Even if we do it. Yeah. That's more than just contact or, you know, yeah. offsides because you touched them. So second and six, we've got about 12, 11 seconds. We have to snap the ball. we got about a quarter of a second difference on the uh, game clock. Jacob Trust takes it off the right side. He tries to cut it up. He's down to about the six-yard line. That will be the That's last it. play of the quarter. That is it. So at the end of the third quarter, the score, 20 to six, Water Valley. We'll pick it up on the other end of the field when we come back. See if the Blue Devils can get a first or a touchdown right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Coffeeville Insurance and Main Street Insurance offer a variety of insurance to meet you and your family's needs. Through such companies as Allstate, MetLife, AIG, Zurich, Drive By Progressive, plus many more companies. Tyler Wortham, Beverly Freer, Jan Wortham, and Marlene Guzman invite you to stop by for your home, auto, health, life, commercial, and motorcycle insurance needs. Coffeeville Insurance Agency on Depot Street, across from the bank, and Main Street Insurance in Water Valley, next to Valley Lumber. Tri-Lake Eye Clinic is proud to support the Water Valley Blue Devils. Dr. Edwards and his staff realize that teamwork is important, not only in sports, but in bringing you the best eye care possible. Dr. Edwards is teamed with Zeiss Visucam to bring the most advanced diagnostic imaging system to the area. The Zeiss OCT detects glaucoma, macular degeneration, and diabetic eye disease earlier than any previous instrument in eye care. Try Lake Eye Clinic, seeing in better so you can see out better. The Grenada Law Firm of Horan & Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. Attorneys Kevin Horan, Jimmy Powell, and Brad Dagnott are ready and prepared to fight for your rights. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact them at 226-2185 or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. All right, Jacob Truss is going to try to get uh, Blue Devils in the end zone. He gets the ball. He runs to his right. A wide open in the end zone. Oh. Nate Murphy to hit his knee. <laughs> he slipped. He slipped. Look at Nate. He's Look. like, field man. Goal. Field goal. <laughs> We're about we to do? witness the first field goal of this young Water Valley Blue Devil season. <laughs> this, young, job, this young Water Valley postseason. Postseason. Yeah. Well, I'm saying it like. Right. It's the 12th game, yeah. and we're just now kicking a field goal. <laughs> see the dew out there right now, Chad, on this end yeah. of the ball field? You, look, you can see our, look, you can see our kids' feet print across the field. Oh, yeah. So John's going to try a 23-yard field goal. Snap is back. It's down. He gets it up, and it's, oh, no just, good. Oh, yeah, and it looks good. like it may have been partially blocked. Yeah. Ball goes over to Yazoo Yeah, seemed like that ball might have been partially blocked a little bit. That's weird. Well, no harm, no foul. 11.50 to go in the fourth quarter. Panthers will have to take over at their own 20. And uh, Jacobs. Jacob Wells has got to calm down. And Coach Emery's going to call him over. Tell him to shut his mouth. And there ain't no need to run the mouth, man. Nope. Just play ball. Just play. So, Blue Devils need to stop. It's a reverse. He fumbles the ball, and boom, he's hit. The ball pops out. Man, Paris Adams came in there hard. I they like those. Yeah. Those are dangerous, though. They got yeah. it back, but it's going to be a loss of a, about five yards. Yeah. 
Yep, call it five yards. Second 15 for the Panthers. They, they have a hard time going forward lately, and that's been good because they do have a few weapons. And it, it, their, I don't know if their pace, tempo, or something has changed, too. Well, the defense, Water Valley defense, yeah, has kind of shut down, down some of their good stuff. And that's a bad pass. See, they, that's uh, that's Luckett back in yep. the game. And yeah. he says, now he says an arm. I just don't think his arm feels good. He has not been accurate all night long, throwing it in the dirt. Yep. And I'm telling you, that was to uh, Gainwell, who, man, if he catches that, it's yeah. dangerous. He is, yeah. He's some serious competition when he comes open field, man. That's right. Third and 15 now for the uh, Panthers. Water Valley Blue Devil defense is, is bowed up. They're going to go slot right, slot left, and he's going to want to throw it. That's Luckett. He hums it down the middle of the field. He's got a man wide open, and he uh, underthrew it. That was number four. Uh, Kenneth Irvin. Now, he's the one arm receiver yep. from yep. last year that we knew, and he yep. caught, and that would have been a hard catch for him, though, right. because his right arm is the one yeah. that's. To the other side, it would have been and he was maybe running, an e better one. Ball was thrown to his yep. left side. That would have been a yep. hard catch, but yep. I, I know he's capable of doing Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I've seen him. <laughs> Where you don't get this far, and, you know. Right. He's not out there for yep. no reason. He's, he's not out there for a reason. Right. I think it's a testament to the, his. his Number one is courage, yep. his desire to, to get there, That's some heart. his work ethic, his yep. heart. Man, yep. what a great story. Oh, that was a bobble snap by the punter. He just gets it off barely. Fair catch out of Rocket. Oh, wow. It's a little little closer field position, though, than the last fair catcher. That's about a three-yard gain on the from the last one, not a gain. I guarantee you, he lets that ball hit it, probably go past a 50. That burns me. I don't like them. I don't like them hitting the ball, hitting the ground. So, 10:51 to go, 20 to six. Same score as the Charleston score. Uh, Charleston played yeah. Yazoo County. They Charleston beat them 20 to six. That tells our uh, fans kind of where we're at. Yeah. Wow, we've had some injuries tonight in other games across the the, uh, the state, and there's been a couple of bad injuries. Yeah, one at Greenville, Greenville to Madison Central. According to John Mistelis, they actually called the game off. This kid was um, in, in serious, serious trouble on the field. Um, said CPR, shock was administered, tracheotomy on the field, and they airlifted to UMC. So this is that's um, a regular season. That's not even a playoff. This yeah. is, they're in their last week. Yeah. Get back. I'm telling you, I hate to hear that. I do, too. I mean, football is a fun deal. game, but it, it at times can be just brutal. And Jacob Trust takes it ahead on second down to about the 31-yard line. It's going to be third and about four to go for a first down for the Blue Devils. Okay, so... Man, uh, we still have not seen Kawan Hervey. I, I don't I haven't even see him on the, on the sideline. He is not even in street. Yeah, he's in street clothes. There he is. He's wow. got his uh, the blue and the black pants. Yeah, he's in street clothes. He's done. I wonder what's happening. He doesn't. He doesn't even look hurt. Look at him. Yeah. Jacob uh, is going to take it off the left side. He's got a little bit of room. He's got the first down and more. Wow, he's down to about the 17-yard line. Yeah. Way to go, Jacob Trust. Good, good run right there. It was a good cut. So first down and 10 inside the red zone. Rocket is stacked behind Kyle Hill Houston on the near side. Jacob uh, puts Bailey in motion. He's going to give it off to Tay up the middle. And Tay's got a little room this time. He got about five, four, five. Whoa, well, look Mark at this. Oh, they marked it. All right. Probably on a four-yard four game. It's a little Close, better surge there. 
Yeah, that was that was a good push. Well, Blue Devils need to put this one in the end zone, Chad. I'm tired of moving the ball and not. We have not scored an offensive touchdown this half. Yeah, we gotta gotta do something about that. Our production has always gone down. That's been partly because of younger players. That's right. Can we hand it off? No, it's a fumble. Uh, uh, they have picked it up. Panthers have picked it up. Number 54 it, has it. And he pitched it. Now the ball's on the ground again and picked up by another Panther player. He's brought down by Ja'Cory at the 36. Incredible. We are cursed. Wow. Tay Rucker's hand is hurt. Look. Yeah, and they've got a kid down too. And Ja'Cory's not feeling too good about it either. My goodness. I am just, uh, I'm just, man, I, 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 every time we get in the red zone, something crazy has been happening. We got some, we got a bunch of coaches in the fan, in the stands, man. Yeah. We, we put together a good team. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. Yeah. Not about a team, but it's number 14 for them. Uh, Laravion Edwards. He's up. But he's good. up. Good. He is. Uh, he's a senior, 5'11", 195. The number is 14. Yeah. Hey, that's your fault, sir. Don't worry about it, buddy. Hmm. So the Panthers, first and 10, going the other way. Put a man in motion, coming to the near side. He hands off to number nine, going around there. He got hit immediately. That was Nate we've Murphy. called number nine. Yeah, that's his first number carry. That's name Noel. Noel. William Noel. I think Murphy's so long out there with his arm, his wingspan is long. Yeah. Him and Isaiah both. And he may not tackle you one armed, but he can slow you yeah. down enough. There's enough, you know, talent around him that's going to make the play. So he puts Irwin in motion to the near side. He's going to keep it himself this time. Look it. He gets about four. Yeah. Up to oh, about. Oh, oh, oh the ball oh, spit oh, out. Oh, 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 we go look at it. now we got a flag coming in yep. late wow. somebody ran them out that was number one of two or somebody yep. the coach is already on the field my goodness he's ticked anyway it's gonna be a flag on one of them <laughs> Darius <laughs> uh, okay sideline warning sideline we've already been warned man yeah what are you talking about, sideline? But he pointed to them, so I guess. Uh, okay, he was just explaining that to us, yeah. that it was on them. That's what the flag was. Whenever the coach came out, they threw yeah. the flag in. Okay. So I think he's going to argue that the guy was down. Well, it's too late now. They've already right. made the call. That's right. They're trying to talk each other out of it, though. Uh, if they do, it would be the first time I'd ever seen it. Yeah, players need to back up off the officials. That's right. First down. First down, Water oh, Valley. Down. There we go. Yeah, right at the 40-yard line. Nose of the ball will be on the 40. 7.20 left in the game. Lee. Blue Devils up by Well, they're kind of in the shape we six. are, although further back, you know, the, the – We need to take a break. We'll take a break real quick and be back for uh, first down right after this. You're watching Blue Devil football. Coffeeville Insurance and Main Street Insurance offer a variety of insurance to meet you and your family's needs. Through such companies as Allstate, MetLife, AIG, Zurich, Drive-By Progressive, plus many more companies. Tyler Wortham, Beverly Freer, Jan Wortham, and Marlene Guzman invite you to stop by for your home, auto, health, life, commercial, and motorcycle insurance needs. Coffeeville Insurance Agency on Depot Street, across from the bank, and Main Street Insurance in Water Valley, next to Valley Lumber. Valley Tool Incorporated of Water Valley, serving Alabosha County for two decades, are proud supporters of Water Valley High School Athletics. Valley Tool makers of fixtures, gauges, jigs, specialized tooling, precision grinding, production machining, and injected mold repair. Valley Tool with locations in the Indust Park off of Highway 32 West 
and Railroad Street in Water Valley, locally owned and operated by Casey Washington since 1997. Complete body repair, they do headliner replacement, vinyl top replacement, air conditioner repair, lockout service, and most any other body repair your vehicle would need. Luke's Body Shop has 24-hour towing, free estimates for any job. Ask about their coast-to-coast -coast carports, buildings, and garages. When you're in need of body repair, take your vehicle to Luke's Body Shop, South Main Street in Water Valley. Open weekdays, 8 till 5. You know, I was just saying, you know, farther back, I mean, but they were sort of in the situation we were, you know, bad break for us a moment ago, bad break for them, and they starting to get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of rhythm there on the three or four plays, two or three plays. All right, rocket in motion, low snap. He's going to throw it. No, he handed off to Rucker, who got, oh, man, please. Rucker's been hit every time he has gotten the ball right at the line of scrimmage. Loss of two on the play. From the line. And you know, we talked about it before the game. I, mean, I just think we need to give it to Rucker outside of the tackles. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to get outside. I, I just, the, the, the reason Jacob Truss has been able to run it up the middle some is because no one's in the backfield. Yeah. So it forces your linebackers to look left and right first. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, they've got eight guys in the box. So, look, now he's taking it by himself. You've got an extra man coming in, and he picks up about seven yep. yards on the play. Eight yards. Good surge seven. there. Yeah, so you, he cleared the backfield out right there, and he, you know, the linebacker, the middle, the right linebacker goes with him. The middle linebacker shifts a little bit. Now you've got a little hole there. They're not coming up and attacking. Right. They're right. staying yeah. home. Right. You know, and I had just said that as he picked up there. You know, I mean, got like eight guys, nine guys at times in the box. Of course, eight now. We've got Rocket in motion. Oh, and they jumped off sides. We're going to get another five. That's going to put it close to a first. third and about two. Yeah. Third and one, maybe. Dead ball. All sides against the Panthers. Yeah, third and one. Yep. Yep. Ball side the 31 yard line, third down and one for the Blue Devils. Six minutes on the dot left to go. Wow. Second half has seemed longer than the first half. Is, is, I mean, is it just me or does it feel like it's been a little long? You know, they've thrown a little more and they've got, you know, stopped the clock with some incomplete passes. I think it's the action has slowed down yeah. in between plays. You know, there's, it just seems lethargic in between. Yeah. So Tay Rucker's got it off the right side and again. He he's got the first down probably. Yeah. It's right on the sticks is where he's uh, the the uh, line guy has it. Uh, it's probably going to move the chains. They got him marked right at the 30. First down. Uh, they're gonna move. What are they gonna do? He's saying it is a first down. The White Hat's trying to figure it out. <laughs> are they gonna move the chains or what? The White Hat has to signal it first. He has to signal it for them to actually move the chains. Now he can call for a measurement. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. The ball is over the 30-yard line. Look, the chains are on the 30-yard line. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. They're going to measure that. The ball is over the 30, and the chain is on exactly the 30. Why? How do you even give him that measurement? Okay, but let's do it. Let's try it. Okay, so here you go. First down. First down. As we thought, the chain would be in the middle of the ball. I First down. Know. Are you happy? Whitehead even patted the chain guy on the back like thanks, dude, for embellishing. I mean, for, you know, kind of you know, <laughs> helping us out. Coming there. out and, and humoring us. Right. When they eat a Frosty on the way home after a while, <laughs> they'll be thinking about him. We can't get a frosty on the way home this week. No, we could have left one outside though right now. It'd been pretty frosty. It's not frozen, but 
I think coffee, that was what that was the drink of choice last week. Slot left. Houston's in the game out here. Bud hasn't played in a while. We'll put Bailey in motion. Three, two, one. Oh, that's a delay of game. Uh, did we call the timeout? Uh, timeout. timeout. Yes, timeout. yes, timeout. he did Good get deal. it. All right, we'll take the timeout with him. We'll be back in just a minute. You're watching Blue Devil Football. Turnage Drugstore, the guardian of your health for over 110 years, is Water Valley's own locally owned pharmacy. Benny, Bobby, and the staff can help you with your prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. Turnage's not only has medications you need, but gift items for your family. Stop in and set a spell and have something refreshing from the old-fashioned snack bar. Over 110 years of serving you and your family. Turnage Drugstore on Main Street in the heart of downtown Water Valley. Something good is waiting for you at Vans Furniture and Laundry in Water Valley. Living room sets, bedding, sofas, and a great selection of furnishings for your home. Ashley, Simmons, Franklin, American, too many remarkable brand names to mention. 12 months same as cash and up to 24 months financing. Vans Laundry cleans all types of school and work uniforms. 10% discount to all military, first responders, and ministers. Vans Furniture and Laundry located in the same building in Cash Saver Shopping Center, Water Valley. All right, first and 10 for the Blue Devs. Nick Trust in the ball game, puts Rocket in motion. He hands off to Tay Rucker. Tay's looking for a hole. He got a little bit Man. of one off the left side. He got and maybe two. He just got laid down. Man, Man I'm, down. Saying, I'm telling you, we can get him on a stretch play. Remember Peyton Manning used to run stretch play? Yep. Timeout, yep. Panthers. Timeout. Now we got all kind of breaks. We want to remind everybody to check us out 11 o'clock on Saturday mornings, uh, Channel 97, Max South Cable. And also, everybody's doing a good job. Keep passing the word around about YouTube. You can check us out on YouTube Mondays. Uh, go in there and type Water Valley versus Yazoo County. And uh, you can watch this game. You can uh, tag a friend, send yeah. it to them through your text. You can. Yeah. Just share the link. Share the link. And That's what I did a few weeks ago. Send it to your friends and, and family. And, yeah, you know. I sent it to mom and dad. I mean, you know, I'm their baby, so they they, they don't know <laughs> nothing about Water Valley Blue Devil football. And But I bet they watched that they game. They did. They said they watched the whole game. But, you know, just send them the link. I didn't, didn't watch the watch whole it. game. but <laughs> <laughs> No, this was several weeks ago. I oh, okay. Well, I probably did watch that yeah. one. I watched a few minutes of last week, you know, the good spots. Yeah, we. I, I had to. I, I couldn't watch the second half. Yeah. I just. Uh, I had to turn it off at halftime. Yeah. So second about eight, eight and a half really, for the Blue Devils. Jacob Truss has been in the game a lot this, this tonight. He hands off to Rocket around the side. We've been wanting that, and he's got a little bit of room. He's down inside. Well, almost to the twenty. Thought the twenty-one yard line. Beat on twenty-two. Where Ooh, feet. what? Oh, Four progress was almost 20. Yeah. How do you get mark him at the 22? That's crazy. Exactly. Yeah, that's what we were just saying. He got almost to the 20, maybe like uh, six inches shy. He takes a step back, and then that's <laughs> where no four progress for you, sir. All right, so third and a couple. Jacob's going to take it himself. He's got it. He cuts back. He's got one man. Uh, number nine. Well, he's solidly on the 11. Let's see where they mark him. Yeah, well, it might be the 15. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boys, let's put it in the end zone, not in their hands. Yeah, we got three minutes and 50 seconds, Chad. The clock is ticking. Well, I haven't written anything down in a while for our scoring summary at the end of the game. I need plenty to write of, something down. My print, my plenty of, your pen might lock yeah. up. It's probably going to quit writing. You got a lighter? We can we can get the ink back <laughs> loose in that thing. <laughs> right. All right. Trust gets the snap. Hands off to Tay Rucker off the tackle. He's stuck for a second, He's but then tumbling, he got tumbling, rumbling, inside the 10 down to about the – what, the they, seven? He's on the eight where the ref is. Uh, the side judge. Well, that's where he fell, but I thought he made about the seven over there. The other guys got him at the seven. So they're going to stop the clock. That's going to be a timeout. I think timeout uh, Yazoo, Yazoo County will take it with them. 317 yep. to play. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football.
The Grenada Law Firm of Horan and Horan specializes in criminal and civil law. Attorneys Kevin Horan, Jimmy Powell, and Brad Dagnott are ready and prepared to fight for your rights. They will explain today's complex legal procedures and provide individual attention. When you need experience and dedication, let them go to work for you. Contact them at 226-2185 or stop by 1500 Gateway in Grenada, a family practice since 1926. Water Valley, what a great place to live. And Fisher Properties, your home-owned real estate company, wants to help. Whether you are buying, selling, or just looking to rent, let Fisher Properties serve your real estate needs. Contact them at 473-4503. Come by 105 Railroad Street in Water Valley or check them out on the web at fisherproperties.net. Let Fisher's real estate experience work for you. All right, we're back, second and about seven. Jacob Trust hands off to Tay Rucker. He's got a hole. He's hey. in the end zone. Oh, we got a flag. Run. Uh, Cuss word. Yeah. <laughs> we got a flag. That was going to come back. And here's the thing, Chad. You see where the flag is? Yep. Not even in the Had same nothing to do with the county. Play. Not the nothing same to do county. with the play. I mean, I know they got a call, you know, what they're supposed to. No, but I'm just mad that I, we, we got that yeah, penalty when right. he's not even close to yeah. the ball. Has nothing to do with the play. Oh, my goodness. Those are the kind of play, man, there's been a few, about one every game where yep. you get a holding or something away from the do play. something crazy. And you're like, son, do you – I don't like get him in the locker room. Do you realize that play wasn't even – near? you could have not done anything That's on right. that play. Yeah. And we would have scored. You could have laid down. <laughs> could have laid down, drank a Coke. Yeah. And not move. Now it's second and 12. Uh, snaps high, gives it a record. Same play almost. And he didn't get, but maybe two yards. He might have got back to the original line of scrimmage. Yeah. Third down. Yes, the county's calling another timeout. They're trying to stop the clock. It it's 2.59 left in the game. Timeout. We'll keep it here. Uh, Right now, as we are getting reports, looks like Boonville is up 10 to nothing over Aberdeen. So, and we're up 20 to six. So unless something crazy were to happen between now and two minutes and 59 seconds, we would play Boonville in the second round of the playoffs. And I don't know what that would be uh, home or away. It would be away. We'd have to travel, I believe, right? at Boonville. So if things stand, we will be at Boonville next week. Oh, and I was just informed that that is the Blue Devils versus, versus the, Blue, the Devils. Blue Devils. That's right. Play at Northeast wow. Community College Football Stadium. 10 to nothing. 10 zero. Boonville. So next week, we got to show out. If we hold on to this game and we go up to Boonville, we better show out with some crowd support. You know right. what? Get we some buses or something and drive some fans. All right, Jacob Trust, third and 10 from the 11. He's going to run it himself. He tries to get outside. He's got some yards, and he's brought down about the six-yard line, five-yard yeah. line. So you kick another field goal right I here? Try it. I try it again. I think so. I, yeah. I, I mean, it really doesn't matter. Our defense yeah. is on lockdown right now. Well, They're out of timeouts. Even if they scored and we get the ball. And, and I noticed John, when he came off the field a minute ago, he was kind of smiling. He wanted again. another one. Yeah, you know, and he wasn't smiling like, ha-ha, it didn't matter. But, you know, just had that kind of, you know what, I'm going to shake it off, man. It was, you know. I think Brad's going to call a timeout. He's good. That's what we're going to do. Coach Embry's going to call it. He's going to call a timeout right here. He's going to run the clock down to about two seconds and call it and try to figure out what to do. There it is. There's the timeout. Blue Devils will come off the field. Two minutes and 14 seconds left in the game. 20 to 6, Water Valley. We'll take the break with them. Be right back and wrap this one up right after this. You're watching Blue Devil football. Joe Black and Associates Public Accountants located at 306 Railroad Street in Water Valley are proud supporters of Water Valley Blue Devil Athletics and Academics. 
Black and Associates wish the best for the Devils not only on the field, but in the classroom, offering individual, business, and estate tax planning and tax preparation, electronic filing, payroll, and general accounting services. Telephone 473-1441 or 234-8921. All right, fourth and four for the Blue Devils. We can get a first down, but it'd be close. Jacob's going to keep it himself right up the middle. He's got rim. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. No flags. No flags. I don't see one of them. Okay, good. We're clean. They put it on the board. It's got to stay. I saw it on social media. It's got to be true. <laughs> so that was uh, another touchdown by Jacob Truss on fourth down. Two minutes and ten seconds left in the ball game. The Blue Devils will put a nail in this one. John Surratt to add an extra point. The snap is back. It's perfect. The kick is, oh, it hit the upright and went through. Good. It's a good kick. Hit the left upright and went through. We'll take a break. Your score, 27 to 6 in favor of the Blue Devils. We'll be back right after this. You're watching Blue Devil Football. On a starless Wednesday night, disaster strikes. The call goes out and shelter insurance is on the way. Disaster is helpless against shelter's awesome powers. Oh, you're working on Mom's comic book. It's the graphic novel, Dad. <laughs> okay. The superhero's home and she's got pizza? Yes! Find your insurance superhero at shelterinsurance.com. You can save when you insure both your home and auto with shelter. See Cherie Jackson for details. Two minutes and ten seconds left in the ball game. Dre McCray is ready to kick this thing off. We need to stop. It's high and to the left side. It's going to hit the ground around this 17, 18 yard line. Picked up by number 14. Oh, Ooh, Nate almost, Nate got, almost the face got a mask. face mask. Yeah. You're right. I saw that. He hit the side of his yep. helmet. Yeah, like slapped the side of his helmet. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was just toying with him. Slapped the side of his helmet and said, hey, he ain't going to work. Well, don't lions do that sometimes? Don't they play sometimes, with their food? Sometimes they swat them around. Tackle by number 22, Keldrick McIntosh. So, seems like uh, Boonville has just gone up in the fourth quarter, 16 yeah. to 6. Well, they got close so, for like three seconds. Yeah, it must have been like a return on yeah, the uh, something kickoff. crazy. So, number 12, Luckett is going to hum it out on the field. Picked off by Darius. It again. He's gone. He's got one man to beat. Grant's going to seal that. It's a touchdown, Water Valley. No flags on the field. That is going to be the second nail in the coffin. <laughs> so the minute 48 it left in play, uh, Jesu County throws a pick. Darius Tolbert takes it in. That's his second pick for a touchdown. Two pick sixes. Who do you think is going to be the, 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 the defensive player of the game? Well, I'm going to tell you right He's now. He's got 12 points. Yes. And the offensive player of the game has to be Jacob Truss. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to block these people on social media if it's not the case. I'm just <laughs> kidding. I'm not that petty. All right. John's extra point is left again, but it's good. It's, good. it's just inside yep. the left upright. That puts the score 34 to 6 in favor of the Blue Devils with a minute and 48 seconds left to play. Want to remind everybody to check us out. 11 o'clock on Saturdays. Except uh, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, Power's yeah supposed to be off you're not going to get much. Well, well, only in Water Valley. Yeah. So, yeah. Channel 97, Max South, YouTube on Monday. So, yeah, a lot. We might get a boost in YouTube think, Monday. Yeah. Let me see a spike. A spike because of the uh, power outage uh, tomorrow in the valley. In the valley. But, you know, I noticed on Highway 7 on the bypass in town, they got all the trucks staged. Oh, yeah, everything. everything's They're ready, ready to, to go. roll at dawn in the morning. <laughs> So I live in the county, so if you need a place to stay, man, y'all just run out there. You can clean up while you're at the house. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be your. <laughs> That'll be my weekly bath. Your uh, weekly bath. There you go. <laughs> Dre McCray is going to boot this thing off. It's short. Short, real short. It's a knee. The knee was down. Okay, they're going to blow a whistle. Yeah, that was, that was on the ground that time. Yeah, that wasn't like uh, That wasn't like trust. Jacob. That's right. 
That knee was on the ground. I think he would have broken the egg. Okay, so last year the playoff game was 35 to seven in favor of Yazoo County. This year it's 34 to six in favor of the Blue Devils. Same spread. Yeah. Same spread other yeah. way around. So it's like, you know, two heavyweight fighters just exchanging blows. There you go. As long as we can keep them out oh of the Oh, my goodness. Zone. Goodness. Look, 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 look. Oh, wow. What a lick. There was up. And Marley hit his feet right before he got away, too. I mean, Marley almost got him in the backfield. And I'm going to tell you what, though. I, here's what I do like. I'm going to tell you. I have not seen any of their plays playing horribly dirty other nope. than the one tackle out of bounds that – and that's just They're aggression. Getting up, patting yep. our yep. guys on the back. Yep. We're patting them on the back. You know, there's a little respect between these two schools yep. right here. You know, for right. some of these seniors, this is their last seconds, and many of them in a yep. football uniform. 110, whistles blow, flag down in the backfield. It's going to be a false start on the Yazoo ball, County. The Man, and I tell you what, I remember uh, last year going down all that, traveling all that way, and Having to come back, of course, we went to mom's house after the game in Madison. We cut through the Delta, through all those little rows, and it was dark, man. It was dark, and I was running low on gas, and I didn't know if I was going to make it. <laughs> but it's got to be a horrible, horrible ride back home, two hours yeah. late at night. Trips left. That's uh, number eight. Oh, Marley almost Marley had him. First contact, Grant hit him and tripped him up. And That's number eight, Schaefer. Less than a minute to play. If you're at Ole Miss basketball, one minute to play. They started oh, they do that tonight, Memphis? too. They, you know, Memphis, I mean, not Memphis, Ole Miss had their, you know, our women and our men had their um, exhibition game tonight. Oh. Oh, wow, there's some crazy things going on across the South. <laughs> Hand off to number 20, a New Jersey in the ball game for the uh, Panthers. That is Jamarion Stewart. He picked up, uh, probably no he probably no gain right there. It's probably just it. got it back to the ball line of scrimmage. That's the ball, that's gonna be the ball game in four seconds. Three, two, one. The Blue Devils have won a playoff game, folks. We're into the second round. The score, 34 to six. Blue Devils have triumphed over the Panthers. We'll be back in just a few minutes to wrap this thing up and uh, do the Dunn's Country Store scoring summary when we come back. Right after this, you're watching Blue Devil Football. Midtown Auto Parts, your CarQuest dealer in Water Valley, has the parts you need for light and heavy-duty vehicles. Custom-made hydraulic hoses for the farm and heavy-duty equipment. Three- and four-wheeler parts and small engine parts, too. Midtown turns brakes and rotors. Check out their full line of K&N air filters. Midtown Auto Parts in the middle of downtown Water Valley is now open 6.30 a.m. till 6 p.m., six days a week. It's Midtown Auto Parts, the real parts store. If you're looking for a gift that is personalized, one of a kind, far from the ordinary, and reasonably priced, The Other Room has just what you're looking for. Custom orders for any occasion are Kay's specialty. The Blue Devil Scoring Summary is sponsored by Dunn's Country Store on Highway 32 West in the Silverina community. Features hickory smoked barbecue, hand padded never frozen hamburgers, farm raised catfish, and their cooked order ribeyes served each Friday and Saturday nights. All right, we're back. And, Chad, before we do the score summary, here's a couple of weird things that have gone on. Last year they put us out by the same spread at their place. Yep. This year they come to our place, we beat them by the same spread at our place. And now they went on to play for the state, state championship, championship last right. year after they beat us. So yep. hopefully that may be a little bit of an omen. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> so some weird things going on right there. So, uh it's time now for the Dunn's Country Store scoring summary. Chad, tell us how it all went down. Some fast scoring tonight. Man, especially, you know, just at times you look up and you think things aren't going well. Right. And, but, but, and then boom, you know, we got a couple of touchdowns that, that we really maybe hadn't even counted for. 
So getting the scoring started off right. Six minutes, 45 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Number 16, Jacob Truss. We're going to call his name quite a lot tonight. Handing off to number 17, Tay Rucker. Rucker took it in for a two-yard touchdown um, run. Our PAT was no good, and the score stood at 6-0 to zero in favor of your Water Valley Blue Devils. Five minutes, 50 seconds left to go. Just kind of a quick turnaround. Uh, the Yazoo County Cougars, excuse me, Yazoo County Panthers, Corey Gainwell, number one, ran for 62 yards. Fast. Uh, fast. I mean, <laughs> outrun all of our guys. Just got, you know, got a breakaway speed there from a two-point conversion attempt. No good. Your score was bunched up at 6-6. Six to six. Second quarter, four minutes, 39 seconds left to go. Number 16, Jacob Truss. QB keeper keeping it himself, calling his own number, two-yard touchdown run. PAT was good, bringing the score at 13 to six in favor of your Water Valley Blue Devils. Third quarter, four minutes, 17 seconds left to go. Number 29, Darius Tolbert with a 32-yard interception return for a touchdown, a pick six, one of two on the night. PAT was good, bringing the score at 20 to six in favor of your Water Valley Blue Devils. Fourth quarter, number 16, Jacob Truss, again, keeping the ball, four-yard touchdown run. Our PAT was again good, bringing your score 26, or excuse me, 27 to six in favor of your Water Valley Blue Devils. And with the final decisive score of the night, number 29, Darius Tolbert, again, this time is about 33-yard touchdown, interception return, four touchdown, pick six. PAT was good, bringing the score 34 for your Water Valley Blue Devils, six for Yazoo County Panthers, and we are 10 and two on the season. We are one and zero oh in postseason play in 2018. Nice. Well, next week it's looking more and more like we're going to be headed up to uh, Boonville. But tonight, here's some of the key things that I thought, like you said, uh, it was so dull. Small gain, small gain, yep. small gain, touchdown. Yep. Yeah, where is that? That's so weird. It's like we're a 15 to, round fight. Right. And it was some, just some big yeah. hits, every, yep. just every spread out throughout. That's right. And, uh, but, you know, th some of the things that I'm really concerned with is Bud did not play the last quarter. Yeah, and Kai won Herbie. Kai didn't play one the whole was second in street half. clothes in the second half. Yep. And, but now he did not look hurt down there, but right. he did not play. So, I, I just I, that we're gonna have to figure out some right. things uh, some, because those are key guys that we're gonna have to have moving forward. Um, hopefully, hopefully they'll be healthy. Yep. Uh, we'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk about uh, next week's situation, whatever that may be, and uh, wrap this thing up. You're watching Blue Devil Football. At Yalabusha General Hospital, we are not stuck in the past. We strive for excellence in everything from our highly trained staff to our top-notch patient care, as well as our one-of-a-kind physical therapy department. And with our recently updated facilities, you'll not only get the best in patient care, but the latest technology for the most accurate diagnosis and treatments. We are not afraid of the future. We're making it happen at Yalabusha General Hospital. A better quality of care awaits you here at Yalabusha General Hospital. All right, we're back. Blue Devils have taken this one. Uh, first playoff win, 1-0 uh, and in the playoffs. And uh, Chad, next week, it looks like, uh, unless something has changed, we've been keeping an eye on it. It's looking like more and more Boonville mm -hmm. that we will face in the second round. Uh, uh, that's where Northeast is. It's that's right. right we'll there. play on Northeast Community College. I just play pulled it up. Field. Just pulled it up on Google Maps. It's 97, 97 miles from this stadium to their stadium. It'll be the second time we, so. we, we're, uh, we're playing a community college stadium yeah. this year. Right, right. We played over at uh, Cahoma. Cahoma AHS. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, uh, you know, I don't know. We don't know much about Boonville. They've had a really good season, but who have they played? You know, right. that's kind of the thing. We're going to have to do some more research and find out kind of what we're getting into, uh, you know, they are up in that district and it's a little bit, they're a little bit, the strength of schedules kind of like ours, you right. know? So, you know, but I don't think they have a North Panola type uh, team in their district. Nobody, Diva. Um, they beat Kasuth 20 to 19. Yeah. Kasuth is pretty good. They beat North Pontotoc. North Pontotoc is playing South Pontotoc in the first round tonight. Mm -hmm. um, 
They, um, and John just said that North Pontotoc killed South Pontotoc tonight. Um, you Which know, they beat pretty much expected. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they beat Mantachi 40 to nothing, and I don't think Mantachi has, you know, anything. Morville, they beat 28 to 40. So they've got a couple what I would qualify as probably key wins, kind of Winona-type wins in there. Mm-hmm. But they got looked like several, you know, for us, you know, division wins that were just running away. Well, we probably, unless something crazy happens, won't, will not be back on air. This is probably our last game to cover of the season. And uh, we sure have had a good time. I have. Yeah, yeah lots you know, of fun. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun, and the Blue Devils have had a, a great season. Chad, you're, you're spoiled now. You, your yeah. first season uh, doing doing color. <laughs> we only lost two ball games on air, so. Right. You know, how so, was it? It was great, man. I mean, just, <laughs> you know, the camaraderie and, you know, kind of as, as guys, you know, when you're in high school, you have buddies. When you're in college, you have buddies. Sometimes as you get older, it's sort of hard to find that niche. And, you know, it's, it's, it's been great. You know, I know John Mistelis from, from the high school and stuff as well. And, um, you know, know Steve from church and just met Bob this actually just this summer exactly. at the Watermelon, mm-hmm. Watermelon, uh, Water Valley Watermelon Carnival. That's kind of like Dunn's country score. <laughs> score, score it's, it's a tongue twister, man. But I've had a great year. I really have had a lot of fun getting to Well, next year we'll have to work these tongue twisters out. Yeah, right. we'll, 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 have to, we'll have to script them. Yeah. We'll have the teleprompter set yeah, up. That's right. <laughs> have it pre-recorded. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, the ups and downs, we haven't had a whole lot of downs, so that's been good. Uh, we sure do miss Doug, but uh, the Blue Devils have, have kept it fun and interesting this year, and and uh, we've had a lot to talk about, and they've made it easy, yeah. you know. Uh, Been easy to watch. Easy to watch, yeah. that's right. So we want to remind everybody, to, if it is, in fact, Boonville that we go to, everybody please show up and support the Blue Devils. We would love to take a big crowd up there. Last we heard, it was and, 16 uh, to 12, Boonville with three minutes left. Wow. Right. So. so, yeah, anything can happen in three minutes. Yeah, so, but absolutely. If we weren't going to Boonville, we would have to go down to Aberdeen. Yeah. Right? So the team is going to travel next week, no matter who wins the right. game. Yep. Right. So it's just a matter of where we go. We need a big crowd. We need some support and uh, cheer on the Blue Devils and see if we can let's see how far this ship can sail. Exactly. So until next time we're on air, probably next year. Until then, uh, for Bob Murphy and Chad Franks, I'm Steve Lindsay saying good night, everybody. Water Valley Blue Devil football has been brought to you by. State Farm Insurance, Yalabusha Hospital and Nursing Home, Turnage Drug Store, Valley Tool Incorporated, Farm Bureau Insurance, Trial Lake Eye Clinic, Luke's Body Shop, Black and Associates, Midtown Auto Parts, Coffeyville Main Street Insurance, Crow Martin PLLC, CW White Incorporated, Horan and Horan PLLC, Fisher Properties, Shelter Insurance, Vans Furniture and Laundry, and Mechanics Bank. Water Valley Blue Devil Football has been a production of Murphy Productions.